really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hello, good evening. Now, you are watching the fantastic cricket maker uh, doing its thing. It's so clever. A lot of people have this to start their own business, but you can c cut out of vinyl wonderful things to pop onto glass, onto, oh gosh, clothing. There's so much that you can do with this. Now, we've got even people here at Hachanda that have purchased the wonderful cricket maker um, because they've even started up their own business. But not just for business to service it. <laughs> no, no, not no. at all. Welcome, Emma, I should say. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Now, I know you love your cricket maker I do, don't you? yes yeah mm. I'm addicted to it absolutely <laughs> now I tell you what before we get into the nitty-gritty I need to tell you an important bit of news in that you vote this is the last live hour that we're going to be on and the stock will disappear tomorrow it won't be on the website so this is your time to get the wonderful saving that we've got yes, on the show definitely, yeah. so that's very important that you need to know that because if you go on on Friday it won't be there no, no. <laughs> Right, so Emma, without further ado, what do you love about your Cricut Maker? <gasps> so many things. Number one, I love how beautiful it is. Just, I mean, should we look at it with the top It's like now? a spaceship, isn't it? Oh, it's just so beautiful. Mm. And that it does this. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Well, there we go. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I just love that I can personalise so many things. And people yes. think I've bought it from the shop. But That's I haven't. It. I've made it. Like and your it just, earrings you've made? Um, these are, uh, they are made by the Cricut, but they're yeah. made by a lady on Etsy. And oh. she cuts them out of bouncy castle material. How so, interesting is yeah, that? Yeah, she's actually cut these on a Cricut machine yeah. um, from recycled, well, bouncy castles that Wonderful, were destined for the bin. So. And like even your t-shirt <laughs> yeah. and you'll see around the studio, the set, there's so many personalised items like you said. Yeah, mm. it's, well we always say it, the possibilities are endless because they are, you know, this is going to help your paper crafting, right. it's going to help you yeah, customise t-shirts mm -hmm. um, for, for your whole family, for everyone you know. Um, if you've got a wedding coming up, you can do all your invitations or all of the different aspects of your wedding. Mm. There's just so many areas of crafting if you're a sewer this machine can cut fabric so again Ooh, you nice. can cut your quilt pieces out on there or some of your pattern pieces mm -hmm. just so many things it can do wonderful so what do we get then Indeed. Emma? yes so we get the Cricut maker which mm -hmm. is the best of the Cricut machines and it comes with two blades so you're getting your fine point blade which is in there at the moment and you're also getting the rotary blade um, the rotary blade is the one we use to cut fabric mm -hmm. the fine point blade is the one we use for paper card vinyl iron on vinyl Yep. all of those things too. Um, you have got also your um, accessory port where you can pop pens and things like that in there too. It's even got, I call this the snack tray, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I keep my snacks in here. Um, but you, this is a lovely storage place for all your blades and pens and things like that. You can keep them all in there nice mm -hmm. and neat. You're getting your two mats. Uh, these are important because they're adhesive mats, so they're going to hold your material in place as we feed them through the machine. Right. Um, so you've got your pink one for fabric and your blue one for your paper card and vinyl. Um, what else have we got? So many things. Absolutely. <laughs> Should we talk about the vinyls themselves? Yeah, let's mm -hmm. do it. Um, so we've got this brand new one here, which is the holographic mosaic. Ooh. So that's brand new today on Hochanda. Um, and this mosaic vinyl has tiny little circles already cut out of it. So it's going to look, we've got some examples here actually. Oh, we've got one just coming into shot actually. Oh, perfect. This is the one? Is this right? Yes, yeah, that is lovely. right. Yeah. Nice. So you can see there all of those tiny little circles. The machine hasn't had to cut those. Mm. 
they're mm. already on the vinyl um, and I'll show you how that works later you don't have to weed out any tiny little bits and pieces right. either it's really really simple okay. it just gives such a beautiful effect so yeah excited to have that one anything sure. glittery I like yes same mm, yeah. <laughs> not always my favorite mm. <laughs> they're all my favorites <laughs> um, we've got adhesive foil vinyl so this is your normal vinyl that you can put onto bottles um, onto the wall onto your car oh, um, right. wherever I don't know wherever <laughs> you like to yeah. stick it okay. you can pop it there um, so this is two of the colors there on mm -hmm. this water bottle can we like wash our water bottle so you can definitely hand wash it yeah um, because of all the different detergents in a dishwasher they can't test them all yeah um, I've got lots of bottles and mugs that have gone through the dishwasher fine but obviously with different temperatures okay you can't say for sure okay but in most cases it will be on there fine but if you hand wash it it's going to be on there for ages and ages lovely uh, then we've got a lovely set of foil iron-ons mm. so there's a Different couple of colors, colors in, there. in there yeah yep. it's tricky to see but you've got a red green a blue and a purple i think yeah in that set they're lovely to iron on to t-shirts yep Fabulous. Then we've got our Sport Flex Neon. Oh, this um, is good. So I've got this here. This is leggings I did in the show this earlier. This is brilliant. So this vinyl stretches with the material, so you don't get any cracking. Mm. I mean, you know, sometimes when you put something on like that, after a while it starts to crack or break and it doesn't move with the material. Mm. Um, this moves perfectly, so it's brilliant for all your sporty fabrics with a bit of stretching or even just tighter t-shirts that have a bit of stretch or, you know, your gym wear, your yeah. yoga tops all of that kind of stuff <laughs> very useful that very yes. useful and then what's the last one yeah this is frosted glitter mm. um, this is a normal vinyl as well so I've got it on this candle here um, it looks kind of like the glass has been etched but yes, it hasn't it does. just cut the vinyl and stuck it on that's clever yes yeah, yeah. So imagine that on your windows or yeah, on a mirror, something like mm. that would be beautiful. And then we've got some tools. We have the basic tool set. So that's got all of the tools you're going to need for your, your cricketing. Mm. Um, so you've got your scissors in there. You've got your weeding tool, which is the tool we use to pick out all of our little bits and pieces. Yes. Um, you've got a spatula, tweezers, and your scraper tool as well. Right. And they're all in this lovely pastel shades, which <laughs> I think is just beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and the pens. Yes, we've got a pen set too, so the metallic pen pens because remember the machine can draw as right. well so we can pop a pen into the machine and it can draw or write for us very clever indeed now again I'm going to mention to you that it's only on the website for 24 hours and then all of the cricket items are going to disappear so please get it at this price because you can spread the cost there's a 50 pound saving as well but you can spread the cost not twice but three times it'll swizzle back round again in a minute oh yeah 146 pounds and 30 pence in uh, three installments so it's a very good offer 380666 is your item number then, which is quite interesting, we have got the Cricut Easy Press here. Yes, um, why would we want to go for something like this? Okay, so um, sometimes when you're using your at-home iron yeah. um, to press iron on vinyl, you might find when you go to wash it, it's starting to peel. That's because your home iron only has an inch square in the middle that's getting up to the temperature you need. Right. Um, you also don't know what temperature that is. So. Um, different vinyls need different temperatures and different materials mm -hmm. and you can't manage that on an iron at home makes sense um, so this is where Cricut have created the easy press 2 and what we can do with this is this whole plate heats up to exactly the same temperature mm -hmm. and the temperature we pick depending on which material we're using and we can also change the time so we know exactly how long we're pressing for. good so we're yeah. gonna get coverage over the whole of our piece in one easy press which is just fabulous really. And then what's the map for literally yeah. to put your item on? Yeah so this is going to number one protect your surface. Mm -hmm. um, it's got five layers of technology that um, Cricut created. Very scientific. Ooh. I'm not entirely sure of the ins and outs. Um, but what that does is pushes all the heat back into the back of your project. Okay. So instead of us having to turn it over and press the other side and losing loads of heat out of the bottom, um, it's going to heat both sides at the same time. Right. And it also means that you know you can do it on your best kitchen work surfaces and you're, they're only going to be slightly warm underneath. Lovely. They're not going to get hot. And 
Can I just say how much I love yes. the bag? I would, if I'm leaving this at home, I would actually take this bag out and put my stuff in it because I just really like it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a heat resistant bag. So we can put this in um, at its hottest, so at 205 degrees centigrade. Wow. And we can pop it in there and we're good to go out the door. Mm. No hanging around waiting if you're done. Absolutely. You're going to be off. Um, you can also pop the mat in the back. So oh, that's good. Kit, um, and nice straps as well. I just think it looks beautiful. It's stylish, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, then you can cut something from your vinyl yeah. and pop it on here and yes, personalise it. it. Indeed. Now, what vinyls do we get in this one? Okay, so we've got the glitter vinyl iron on. Um, another favourite of mine. Yeah. Um, yeah, just beautiful colours. Um, lovely glittery iron-ons. Mm. We've got again the mosaic um, in a slightly different. This is. I think it's a silvery colour. Yeah, isn't it? it's or is called it? Aurora, so it's like a holographic, but it doesn't have the sparkle. Oh, it's just you've more got holographic-y. Yeah, you've got different ones in there. Different yeah, lovely this sheets. one is this. Ah, this sheet. So it's a little Ooh. bit more kind of. Um, oh, that's lush, isn't it? A bit more shiny. Yeah. Oh, I do like the diamond on there as well. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> That's that one. And then is this like a neon, neon oh. um, normal everyday iron on? So okay. perfect for t-shirts. And yet you've got all your neon colours in there, which are beautiful. And then this one. That's the same. Um, the Sport Flex iron on the same as in the other bundle that we've just seen. And then last one. And a white version of that as well. Right. Now this did sell out earlier on. It's on an 11 day delay, but it's so worth it when you've got a massive 82 pound saving. And again, it's on Flexi Buy. Three payments of 83. Eighty-three pounds and thirty-one pence. Very good. Seven zero. Nope. Sorry. Seven three zero. A. No. Where am I getting these numbers from? <laughs> seven three zero three zero nine. That. Uh, <laughs> then we have got the Cricut Bright Pad. Yes. yes. Nice. <laughs> um, so. Um, how useful is this? What will this do for us? So this is really useful. This whole um, pad lights up to three different light settings, mm -hmm. um, which is really handy for weeding little bits and pieces out. So we can lay our vinyl or our iron on on here. And then this is a scratch um, resistant surface. So we can pick all our bits out and we can easily see. Sometimes the machine cuts so finely, it can be a little bit tricky to see uh. if your you know, craft room or dining room, or whatever you're crafting is a little bit dark. Okay. So that's where that comes in handy or you could use it for all types of crafting your beading your tracing Good point. Um, I sometimes just use it for selfies to like <laughs> my face better why not <laughs> but so you know do what do we like with that yeah. can I just point out this mat it's <laughs> huge <laughs> it's massive. how come it's so huge I'm not sure oh you just wondered if there's... this is the first time I've seen it today right and yeah I think it's beautiful oh yeah it's um, so it's a self-healing mat mm -hmm. a massive one it's double-sided so you've got this lovely gray color oh, nice. on the other side so you can decide which one or once it gets worn out switch it over okay but yeah perfect for your craft table or to pop out to make a craft station wherever mm. you're wherever you're about and then what what are the different mats we've got here? Yep, so we've got our strong grip, our standard grip and our light grip. Right. Um, so these are for different materials. So strong grip we would use for thicker materials exactly. like our wood, mm -hmm. um, aluminium sheets, uh, just kind of materials that are heavier, that need a bit more thicker, right. need more stick to keep them in place on the mat. Mm -hmm. um, standard grip. That's the middle one. Yep, the green one I use for most things, um, card iron on vinyl um, yeah most kind of things go on the green mat mm -hmm. and then your light grip mat is perfect for your thinner materials your papers your vellums um, you're not it's not going to be as difficult to peel them away from makes the mat. sense and then what about the tools that we get yep so we're getting the brayer tool the okay. applicator and a remover yeah and um, so that's the brayer and the tweezers so this um, it isn't sticky it's just for rolling your vinyl onto the mat to get out any bubbles yeah so make sure that's nice and lovely and the tweezers as well for picking things off okay and um, we've got the scoring stylus um, this fits in both the Explore Air 2 machine and the Cricut Maker. Right. Um, it fits in that pen slot and it can score for you. So okay. it can score lines on your cards. Um, yeah, lots of uses for that one. Mm. Um, so that's a lovely little tool. And then we've got a lovely pen set as well with loads of pens in there. Gold, silvers and 
your black pens as well. Yeah, very nice. Uh, once more, we've spread the cost for you. Three payments of £44.98. pence. Big £61 saving, 490472. Here's the website so you can check out your basket. Again, one more reminder that, well, no, I probably will remind you again during the show, but um, basically the wonderful cricket items are only available on our website for the next 24 hours. Um, so, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. We will be vanished from the, not vanished, but it will vanish <laughs> from, <laughs> from the website. Also, you can see lots of additionals there if you need any more vinyl. Right, so for anybody who has never seen the cricket before, because do you know, I know you're going to say, where have you been? Only a few months ago, I'd seen this for the first yeah. time, you know. <laughs> so for anybody new just joining yes. us, um, where do we start? What do we do? What are we going to make? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I Lots will <laughs> run you through a um, project in a minute with the new mosaic iron oh, on. Yes, um, but first of all, just while the show was starting there, I've cut a card. Um, so I'm going to show you how to remove that from the mat. So we peel the mat away from the card, Rather not the other the way card. around. Okay, why is that? Um, so if we peel... So if I do this edge bit, if we peeled like this, yeah. our card would then have this oh, yeah, we don't want that. bend in it, so it wouldn't stay yeah. flat. Whereas if we turn around, keep the card flat, and peel our mat away, mm -hmm. let's do this carefully, because I've got little bits in there. Oh, I've just been told you're doing monthly tutorials on I our am. blog. I did not yes. know this. Um, so every month now I'm doing a video. Yeah. Just to show something more in depth that we haven't got time Great. for on the show. Okay. Um, so this month I'm showing the mosaic vinyl in more depth. Okay. Um, but each month it might be a new product or it might mm. be yeah something just more in depth. So you'll find that on the Ho Chanda blog and also on the Cricket UK YouTube channel. Yeah. That's so good. It's right up right now. Okay. So Look at this card that's been cut. How yeah. awesome. So uh, let me hold that up right there. Mm -hmm. So this says you are a gem. And you can see it's drawn that in gold, yeah. in the gold pen, and then cut out. So we could cut another piece to go behind yeah. here, or we're good to go. Um, but how lovely and quick and easy. So quick. So if you're batch making as well, yeah. if you're making to sell. And I love that you could even use the waste as well. Yes. Don't throw it's that away. have got all of those letters. Oh, I mean, I've got piles of things like this in yeah. my craft room. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can always use the opposite side mm. too. I'll pick those off now so that we've got a clean mat ready for our next thing. So it's very good. You can personalise to your heart's content. You Batch make indeed. really nice and quickly. If you would like to ask Emma any questions, or something you'd like to see, because I know sometimes we get questions about like the nibs and things like that, yep. um, send your questions to studio at hachanda.com or via Facebook. We are live on Facebook, so you can ask live on air. <laughs> Fab. Yeah, any questions, send them my way. Right, we've got our mosaic iron on now. Mm -hmm. um, and this goes face down on the mat, like all other iron ons. Right. So the shiny side, the coloured side down, on the mat like so. I'm going to use the brayer just to make sure that I'm nicely pressed down. Mm -hmm. Get any bubbles out of there. Yeah. And then I'm just going to oh tell yes the, the computer right what so to you can cut see. indeed. Um, I'm just gonna get it's really that. user friendly, isn't it? This really user friendly. Um, we say if you can use a smartphone, you can definitely use Cricut Design Space. Okay. And remember, it's free to download. So sat at home right now, you mm -hmm. can download um, either the app on yep. your device, your phone, or your tablet, or you can download it to your computer, and you can actually have a play yourself, either before your machine arrives, or mm. just if you want to see if it's for you. Nice. So that's always a good idea. Um, now I found this image. Um, in the design space library. There's over a hundred thousand images now. A hundred thousand? Yes, <laughs> yeah, so That'll it's hard not going. to find something you don't like. Yeah. Um, just a simple love message. I'm going to resize that slightly, make it a little bit bigger. We'll go about there, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to click make it in this top corner up here. And okay. you'll see it's arrived on the mat, and we can move it wherever we like. We can cut it wherever we want on the mat. We don't have to stick with where it's decided. Okay. And I need to mirror my design. So I head over here and just click mirror. And ah. you can see it switches over because we're going to cut into the back of the material. Good point. So with any writing, always remember to mirror. You get all full instructions, don't you, when you get your you machine? Do, yeah, and it will walk you through your first project as soon as you open it out of the box. That's great. Um, and then you'll find so many tutorials and help if you need it. 
Now, I'm going to look for the material. Um, I mean, there's so many materials that the machine can cut. Mm -hmm. I won't go through them all. Um, so I will just search for mosaic. And I am using the holographic sparkle iron-on mosaic. So I'm going <laughs> to click that one. It's a mouthful. Isn't it? <laughs> and the team in America have already decided. They've run the the materials through the machine test hundreds after of times. Test, yeah. So they know exactly how far the blade needs to go in. So we don't need to worry about any mm. kind of numbers or letters or anything like that. It just does it for us. Very clever. Um, so we're now ready to load mm -hmm. our material into the machine. Okay. So how easy is it to load? So easy. So we just slide the mat in here. Make sure it's under these two little white markers. Yeah. Is there a right and a wrong way with this mat? No, it can go both ways oh, around. Okay, right. Yeah, it does have an arrow at this end, but don't that worry if matter. you get it wrong. Yes, exactly. And you'll see the arrow is flashing here, and as it flashes, I'm just going to gently push, and the machine will take hold of it. Mm -hmm. So now that's in there. Once it's ready, um, this button here will flash, and that's the our little go C. button. Little cricket C. And it's got has it got antenna? Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. You probably can't see that, but oh, I think bless her, Emily's come yeah. to it. <laughs> Just even that little touch is so yes. sweet. Yes. <laughs> um, so, gonna click that one. Mm -hmm. That means go. And now it's gonna check I've got all the right tools in. I know I've still got the pen in there, but that won't worry it. Okay, fine. Um, and it will start cutting. Ah. So we can watch it do its just thing. love watching this. So while you are watching it, again, think about all the things that you could be making. You know, sometimes people get this and they're not even thinking about starting a business, but in the end they go, hang on, I, c I could sell this, <laughs> couldn't yeah. I? Yes. I know, like I said, um, our producer Lottie and mm. our director Holly have both got their cricket makers um, and they've also, they've started up little businesses you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah um, you can easily make your money on your machine back that yeah, absolutely but what are you going to personalize you know um, are you going to pop it onto glass onto um, plastic onto t-shirts this is the possibilities are endless yeah. what sort of things have you made obviously oh, t-shirts <laughs> Um, oh, T-shirts, um, cushions for my sofa oh, yeah. I've got, uh, wall art, um, I've even done my recycling bins at home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Put the numbers on. Anything and everything that can have yeah, Something. vinyl on it or iron on vinyl or mm -hmm. I'd be a card project. Yeah, it's right. in my house it's, it's been cricketed. <laughs> so okay. that's finished cutting. So I'll just remove that from the mat. Okay. Pop that out of our way. I will just turn this on so we can kind of oh, see. Oh, I see how this bright pad's useful now. Yeah, and it's really tricky to see on the telly um, just because of how bright it is already in here. But it's such fine lines here that it can be really difficult to see with just your normal eyesight. Okay. So it does come in handy. Okay, we're going to turn oh. the lights down, see if we can see it better on the telly. Can we? Let me see. Just come into the overhead. Don't know if we will, but we'll try. <laughs> Emily's like, we can try it. Oh, a little bit. I yes. promise you it's there. It is we there. We can see a little bit here, I think. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Emily's just trying so hard. It's, so, it's, it's funny because in real life it's really obvious. Yeah, now, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it will be That's there. That's okay. I'm going to go in with my weeding tool anyway. Yeah. And the difference with this mosaic iron on um, compared to normal is that there's three layers in this. Okay. So you might be looking at this thinking, Emma... I'm not going to sit and pick away all of these individual like individual circles. Are you having a joke? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why there's two carriers. So yeah. um, if I go in with this, get this one out. If you've got, see. oh sorry, if you've got something in your basket, do check out. I know it's your, your intent on like watching because obviously <laughs> to get a maximum. But if you just check it out now and then it's secure and then you can carry on. Okay. Mm. So now we can see our design starting to come to life. That's really good. Don't worry if the vinyl rips a little bit. Nope. Because um, you're getting rid of those bits anyway. Yeah. That's it. Lovely. And I'll just go in with and get out the middles of the letters. Again, inside the over. I can see why the weeding tool is important. Yeah, yeah, because you could fold it and pick it with your nails, but you, number one, you're going to ruin your manicure. No, <laughs> <does> that. <laughs> that's the important thing. <laughs> we don't want to ruin the manicure. And yeah, there's just some little bits you'd never pick up, and you're going to lose your mind trying to get them. So this yeah. is where the weeding tool just makes it so easy. 
And there we go. There's the love. We can see we've cut all of that out. Yeah. And we did it. Beautiful. So mm -hmm. now um, we're ready to press it. So okay. I'll turn off the bright pad. <laughs> there you go. Brilliant. And we'll turn on our easy press. Um, so this is heating up to 165 degrees. Now, is it in the instructions with the actual um, vinyl? It isn't. No, right. What we have to do is go to the heat guide okay. on Cricut. Um, so if you type in to any search engine, Cricut heat guide, it okay. comes up. And what you do is you say, I'm using the Easy Press 2 mm -hmm. um, with the mat. And then I say, I'm using the iron on mosaic yep. with... Um, whatever your t-shirt's made out of. So this is a cotton oh, poly blend. Then. So they've really looked at everything, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, so you could say I'm doing it onto denim or I'm doing it onto lycra. Right. And it will tell you the exact temperature and time for that material. Okay. Um, so you can be really specific, which is good. So you really can't go wrong. And then they've actually got all the step-by-step -step guide on there as well. So if there's anything mm -hmm. you're stuck with, they're going to help you. Is that actually sticky? Yeah, a little just bit. a little yeah. bit. Okay. So it means it can hold into the fabric nicely. Right. So, I'm going to get my t-shirt ready here. Mm -hmm. You must have so many personalised t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying this year really to buy blank ones and make ones I want instead of buying yeah. them in the shop. Because Absolutely. it makes way more sense for me to have something I, mm -hmm. I really want. <laughs> now, if you haven't ironed your garment, does that mean it's all going to be, like, if it's, that's going to be wrinkly? Um, no, because okay. what we're going to do now, um, before this is heated up, that's fine, to give it a quick pre-press. Oh, all right. Good point. Um, because that not only will give us a flat surface, but it also lets out any moisture that's right. still in the fabric. So that's important. That is important. Just a little 10 second, doesn't have to be much. So if your clothing is still damp from the wash, don't do it. No go. Okay. Yeah, it won't. It needs to be as dry as possible. Right. Yeah, because yeah, the vinyl just doesn't like moisture. Okay, so I'm going to line this up. I might go at a jaunty angle, actually. That's nice. I like a jaunty angle. And I'm just going to bring the bring that up a little bit. Okay. Try and get any seams off of the mat, mm. um, so they don't lift up the plate. Good point. Um, but there we go. This right. is almost at temperature, so we'll just wait a little bit longer. Going to um, this lovely material, like, mm. are we going to be able to put this through the wash? Yes. Yep. So does this set it? Yeah, this is going to make sure that it's adhered to the fabric. You can wash it, tumble dry it. Tumble dry it yeah, even? Yeah, I throw all of mine in. Oh, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> really good. Yeah. yeah, I've had t-shirts that I've worn maybe once a week for a year. <laughs> I love that much. <laughs> and they've only recently, the t-shirt itself is going bad before right. the vinyl. So okay. yeah, definitely. And that's where the easy press comes in. Oh. It's bleeping. Oh, oh it why turned did it itself off. Why did it do this? It's having a moment. Oh. Let me just check it's happy under there. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> don't it's just sure one of its live TV. It just we had a sewing machine <laughs> die yesterday on live TV. It's just having a diva strop. It's, it's like, is, I don't want to be on television mm. at this hour. <laughs> Let me give you the details for this, though, while we're waiting for it to heat up, because you can uh, spread the cost three times. You are getting a lot in this bundle. There you go. Um, you're saving £82. Item number is 730309. And on Flexi Buy, it's three payments of £83.31. I believe, am I right in saying it sold out earlier? Yep, so it's back on extended delivery uh, and an 11-day dispatch, but it's it's worth the wait. 2nd of February. How's it going? We're almost there. Mm -hmm. We've got 30 degrees to go, so we shouldn't be far off. That's all right. We could have a look at some more samples, maybe. Yeah, let's grab yeah. some things, shall some we? Some things, what... What are those little footballs as well at the back? Oh, yeah. What are they? They're little bean bags. Yeah. Um, so the fabric was cut on the machine. So fabric circles cut on the machine. Right. And then the iron on vinyl cut as well and applied and then sewn together. I'm filled with beans Cute. to make some little. Yeah. I really like that. Adam was juggling with them. I, yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> I can't juggle. No, no, no. can I? It's I'm a life terrible. skill I would have liked to have had. Yeah. <laughs> and these are cool some leggings with sport flex. Oh, absolutely. This is impressive. I mean, you're really stretching that, aren't you? Yeah. Look at that. 
lovely colours too that you've picked. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But just to be able to make your own stuff for the gym or yeah. it's just quite fun really. A cheap way to make stuff. Yeah, yeah it looks really absolutely. designer on your and fabulous. On your cards. But I think the most the key thing is it's about personalising. So again, if you're setting up a little business for yourself and somebody says, I'd quite like a load of um, wedding invitations made, you know, you can personalise for them. Again, like um, backpack with yeah. a little personalised something on. Yep, really so good. even like your ki all your kids like lunch boxes and stuff, even just mm -hmm. to put their name in, it's ideal for that. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I, I just think thought it, when you said about putting your name, I remember when I was a little girl, <laughs> mum used to put my name in my knickers. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do that for your kids, I don't know where that memory just came from. Anyway. <laughs> Well, hopefully you're not leaving them anywhere. Yeah, I know. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what. That was a thing. That was a thing that mums did. <laughs> or maybe it was just mum. Right, Emily's agreeing with me. Thank goodness yeah, it's no. not just me. I feel like it's one of those, like, in case you went into hospital. Or I don't you always, know. My mum always says, you must have clean knickers in case you end up in hospital. <laughs> Sorry, I have just lowered the tone. I do apologise. <laughs> Let's get back to this demo. OK, we're hot <laughs> enough now. Okay. So we're going to pop this straight on top. Um, I'm going to have to do two presses because my design's a little bit bigger than That's the right. press. But oh, what is that happening? That should not have happened. Let me turn this off a second. Okay. <laughs> Will it be okay to grab? Well, I tell you what. Let me just uh, let's just throw to a V team. We'll see what's going on because, like I said, this has never happened before. <laughs> so um, here's Janice. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quote the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family right just while we're sorting things out let me give you the details for uh, the cricket maker it is so superb now again just to stress that your cricket maker well and the other cricket items are only going to be available for the next 24 hours um, if you log on, on on Friday it won't be on the website so now is your time to get the this deal you're getting the cricket maker itself um, you're getting your two different types of mats plus you're getting Getting your tools so you've got your weeder etc you've got your um, wonderful pens uh, it's great that we can draw onto the vinyl and stuff and then you've also got your different vinyls here you've got your adhesive foils you've got your iron-ons um, you've got the one that's like really nice and flexible so they're all there for you in this kit um, it is you can do three payments of 146 pounds and 31 pence um, there's loads of samples as well because as I was saying earlier this is all about personalizing and you can do so many things it can go on to uh, you know the vinyls can go on to glass to materials I mean look here we've got this uh, dream it do it repeat I like that 
so it's and they look expensive don't you think so then you can start making to sell let's just open this out there we go look at that with our diamond that looks so wonderful remember you've got the flexi one here there we go uh, give us a nod when you're ready emma okay. lovely okay cool and then there you go uh what else have we got there's glass look at that that's this new one that's in there this um it's called, it's your frosted permanent frosted looks like it's been etched and then uh, oh it's lottie emailed lottie sent some pictures brilliant of what she's been making hi lottie and i hope harvey's feeling better bless him um right so have a look at the website for all of the lovely extra items that we've got on the show other foils other vinyls other tools they're all there um so yeah hopefully we're going to show some of the things that lottie's been making uh, if you at home as well want to send in any of your pictures tell us what you use it for is it for pleasure is it for business um you can send in to studio at hachanda.com or via Facebook. Right then. So it just had a bit of a malfunction, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'd put it um, a bit. I'd put it too hot, basically. Without really you. No, it's not a problem. Um, Anything happen. It heats up to the temperature you were using last time. So okay. That's what had happened there. My fault completely. But we're back. We're ready to go. Okay. So we're at. We are actually at 165 degrees, which right. is what we're meant to be at. Okay. And I'm going to pop this on top here. Okay. So like I was saying, I'm going to have to press it twice. Okay. So I'm pressing it down, pressing the green button. Right. And that's going to count down the 30 seconds for me okay and I just need to press lightly I don't need to press hard or anything right um, yeah just press lightly mm-hmm and wait for your time does it bleep at you it will bleep at you that's yeah. good so it all the maths has been done for it all the timings I mean yeah. it's really really clever and um, Cricut have a really good support system too as well don't they they do indeed so um, there's an amazing um, care line if anything has gone wrong but also you'll find loads of videos online you'll find lovely Facebook groups as mm -hmm. well and there's always someone available to help you mm. um, loads and loads of people so yeah, if you've got any problems or if you don't understand something that definitely ask yeah I mean they're just brilliant in their technology I think yes. yeah, yeah absolutely wonderful So they actually um, well quite a few years ago when they started thinking about the maker they went to a massive factory mm -hmm. and they saw this machine the size of well, massive, basically. The size of this room, which I yeah. know you can't understand, it's but It's like huge. computers, how computers started off massive, and yeah. then now we've got them on the phone. Yeah. You know? um, so they saw how it worked in industry, how this kind of technology was being used in mass production, mm -hmm. and they thought, how can we make this for the desktop? How can we make this for people at home? Right. So that is part of Cricket's mission, is to make, you know, incredible... Mm technology available to us um, at this size to fit on our desktop which yep. is uh, super cool it kind of blows my mind yeah, yeah. what it can do and yeah okay so as I said it's got two carriers on this so two plastic layers whilst it's hot we peel the first one off whilst it's warm mm -hmm. um, we peel this first one away I love this new um, what do you call it again mosaic mosaic yeah yeah it's lovely I love a bit of sparkle, as everybody knows. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. And then we're just going to wait for it to cool a little bit more. So always remove it from your um, easy press mat because remember that's holding all of the heat. So yes. if we keep it on there, it's going to stay warm. Okay. Take it off of there. Um, and I like to, a new tip I learned recently is to turn it over mm -hmm. and just rub it on your surface. Oh, why, why the surface? Um, because the surface will take the heat. Oh, I suppose um, that's a good point. And you can actually feel it in your fingertips cooling down. Yes. So it's a nice um, way to kind of know if it's cool enough. Mm -hmm. Let me get that random piece out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. And then I actually like to use my weeding tool to um, take the carrier off of this. I don't normally, um, but because you've got these tiny little circles, mm -hmm. It's handy to use the weeding tool to just get in there to get in, into an edge. And then once you've got that edge, you can peel it off. Oh, I see. Why, just out of interest, why does it have two carriers? So one is to help you weed away, as you would have to pick off all of the little oh, bits. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do yeah. every circle, like just like you said, yeah. It's yes. very good. So that's exactly what that was designed for. Because when I first opened the packet, I was like, wait, how do <laughs> I do this? <laughs> you can't be expecting me to take off all of these pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's where that comes in really handy. Yeah. 
very nice. So we're just peeling this off. And you said that now it's been heated, it's fine to go through the wash. Yeah, absolutely fine to go through the wash. And what about ironing? Yep, you could. I would iron it inside out. Yeah, just that's because what I you're re reapplied heat to it, so it could. Um, yeah, just not a great idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just that's do it from the like you would normally with any um, embellishments with anything on. Yeah. Um, so I've done. Oh, there's a tiny bit there. Take mm -hmm. that one off of there. I've done that, and I've ruined a, another half the tea. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> it had that. What's that? I don't know what you call it. That sort of material that if you if you f accidentally put it through the tumble dryer as well, it'll all bubble and it's like a plastic material that uh, you know you do. Yeah. You know, that's a, oh, anyway, no. whoops! Ironed that. <laughs> Iron didn't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're almost getting there. Yep. This is really satisfying to peel off because it kind of... <laughs> is it like glue off the back of your hands? Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let me find that edge. There yeah. it is. It's very good. Yeah, it looks so beautiful. It does, I think it, it gives the effect of like gems mm -hmm. or rhinestones without the faff. Absolutely. But obviously, it's nice and flat. Yeah. So I feel for like... Um, Oh, if, you, if you're an ice skater or a gymnast or something, mm -hmm. or you personalise your or dancer. Oh, what a good idea. I need <gasps> to make costumes. This would be ideal. I was going to say, make it, I remember my dance costumes. Yes. Um, just while you're peeling that last bit off, do you want to see yep. some pictures from Lottie? Oh, Should we yes. do that? Um, oh, oh, she made these for her niece. How gorgeous is this? Oh, that's so oh. cute. I love the font as well, but look at that. Hey there, Delilah. Hello, my name is Delilah. That's so <laughs> sweet. This is what it's all about. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Lottie, for sending that in. Perfect. Right, that is done. Let me Yay. hold it up. Fab. Oh, so look how sparkly that is. And we can fold it, we can crease it. Yep. And yeah, it's perfect. Beautiful. Lovely. Um, should, we, should we make something else? Should we make yeah. something else? What else do you fancy doing? Um, should we do something with sport flex? Why on a little not? Stretchy, stretchy top. Um, you've got about 15 minutes on Perfect. the show. Perfect, I can make that work. Always goes really quick, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, mm. so I'm going to pop a piece of sport flex down, face down again. Mm -hmm. um, what happens if you accidentally forget and put it face up? You would cut the carrier, so you'd cut like the piece I've just fought. Right. You'd cut that instead. Would it ruin your machine? No, not at all. Okay. It wouldn't. The machine wouldn't mind. It's just you might ruin that piece. You'd waste Sometimes it. Sometimes yeah. you can flip it over and still use it, depending mm. on how far in um, it's cut. Yeah. But it's just that you've yeah you've cut the wrong side. Okay. Um, which is sad. It's happened to me <laughs> quite a few times. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna load that in. Okay. We're going back to our we computer are. now. I'm going to just grab a design up. I'm going to go for this one. Cool. This is, it says, run more, worry less. <laughs> um, yes. Let's just check the size of that. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And if you're not a technical person, um, as Emma said, you know, it's so easy to use. It's really step by step. You get your hand held with this. And there is the support group too. Indeed, yep. And yeah, just so many places to find help. So on the YouTube channel, you'll find really in depth um, videos. Um, and also within Design Space, you'll find mm. it too. Have you even cricketed your computer? Um, no, these are just stickers. Oh, but I, I have thought before. you had. You can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I've just got a sticker addiction. Oh, okay. <laughs> can you make stickers, actually? Yes, you yeah. can. Um, okay. So there's a feature called Print and Cut, which we never get time to show because we haven't got a printer. And oh, okay. um, But you can print something on the machine, Yeah. Um, pop it on the mat, feed it in, and then cut it out. So you Ooh. could print onto sticker paper. <gasps> Maybe you could do that yeah. on the blog at one point. Yes. Oh, that, that sounds good. That would be good because mm. we need yeah, a bit more time to show that one. Okay. But yeah, definitely. Right, that is ready to go. I'm going to press go on that one while that cuts. Right. So we, this is your sport flex. How, it's really Indeed. clever the technology how they've come up with it. Yeah. Is that also a sport flex? This is as right, well. The blue yeah. One. You can always tell because the sport flex is shiny on the back. So um, if you've ended up with the little scraps, the sport flex looks kind of oily on the back. Right. That's okay. how you can tell the difference between that and normal vinyl. Lovely. Um, so I'm going to cut a smaller piece. So I'm going to cut another layer in a second. There we go. That's still doing its thing. Absolutely. We'll grab the mat back. Okay. 
We'll get ourselves ready. Um, so what temperature is the Sport Flex? Or it's actually like the same. Do you know oh. what? Let's double check. We'll go to the heat <laughs> guide. Okay. Uh, let me just search it and bring it up. Okay. Heat so guide. you can search. What do we look for? Cricket heat guide. Okay. Um, so I've got it up now. I don't know if we can get it up on here. Mm -hmm. um, so you choose which um, of the easy presses you've got. Yep. So I'm using the Cricut Easy Press 2. And I am going to use Sport Flex. So I scroll down to Sport Flex just there. Yep. And then here I've got a cotton poly blend. And I've got the. Oh, hold up. No, I haven't. I've got a polyester. Cricut Easy Press Mat and I click apply. Um, I'll change it to centigrade. So it actually says 150 degrees centigrade for mm -hmm. 30 seconds. Okay. And you'll see here, it tells you everything you need and it will also tell you exactly how to apply it and everything Brilliant. as well. So if you do need help, um, the heat guide's got all of the steps and everything you need for each okay. material, which is very handy. So I will turn this temperature down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Down Excellent. to 150, and it will cool itself down now. Isn't that clever? Yeah. And it will do that. So it's gone red because it's not yet at the temperature. Yeah. 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 And then it will go green again. Yes, indeed. Clever. Um, lots of you were going for the easy press actually uh, this time because it's you know, and again, I know we're saying it's a considered purchase, of course, but once you're you've got that, you really need yeah. this. Yeah, I had an iron for ages and I thought, oh, I don't need the easy press, or do I need that for? And then the minute I got it, I was like, oh. Why didn't I have it before? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> so yeah. it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in 30 seconds you can press something instead of being stood there for, you know, a while. And not know the and right temperature. And then actually a week later it starts peeling off and it's a bit embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't want that? Definitely don't want that. Okay. See how much longer we've got. Okay. We're about and the cutting blades, they're easy to change? Really easy to change. So um, each blade is housed in the blade housing here, mm -hmm. which is a simple clip to open. Yep. And then eventually you will have to change the little blade on the end. Um, I'd have to cut for a couple of three months every single day all day oh so they're sh they, you know Before, they're gonna last yeah it's like your n kitchen knives or your scissors yeah. that you need to replace um but the blades aren't expensive and you just press that end down mm -hmm. it'll pop out and then it pops back in good so really really easy hello oh yeah. cooled down <laughs> good um I'm and other different types of blades Yes, so this machine comes with the fine point blade, which is this one, it's going. Um, yes. and then it also comes with the rotary blade, which we use for fabric. Right. Um, but you can also buy separately the knife blade, mm -hmm. so that's for wood, your thicker materials. Um, then you've got different tools like the wavy blade, which is a wavy blade. Oh yes, I think I remember that. Yeah, the yep. perforation blade, and then you've also got the debossing and engraving tools and right. the scoring tools. <laughs> so there's um, a lot. That's there's good. a lot, and as they bring out more, they will fit this machine. So so it's future-proofed right. in that they're not going to bring out a new machine to use an engraving tool. They would bring okay. out a tool that fits this machine, which Very is really good. good to know. I love we're all stood here like this. I know. I just want to <laughs> stand and watch it sometimes. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Actually, but it's nice when you press go. I mean, you could go make yourself a cup of tea then. Yeah. Just exactly. while it's doing its thing. Yeah, indeed. As long as the area around it's clear, then you're mm. good to leave it. Doesn't it look so stylish as well? <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> really does. It's just so sleek. There we go. It's finished. Okay. So I'm going to take that out. Whilst I weave this layer, I'll just pop in this quick little layer as well. Yep. Which bit's that going to do? Um, so there's some little arrows, so I want to cut ah, those out. So, nice so it's a little extra colour. Yeah. So again, I've got this one. Oh, let me start that off. And I'll just cut around this to save the vinyl for next time. So it knows the program of when you're going to change colour as well. Yes. Right. So if things are different colours on mm. your original matte screen, it knows that they live on a different matte. So okay. I could have fed in card there and changed the setting to card. Right. I can have it all up, as, as long as it's a different colour. The machine doesn't know what colour it actually is. No. But, but it, yeah, that's how it differentiates. Mm. Yeah. Which is handy to know. Um, I'll just go in here and weed this the same. Let me get the bright pad down actually. Lay this on top. Oh, of I it. do like as well. I noticed that the bright pad even fits into the top of the yes. Cricut Maker. And you can also pop your phone or your tablet in that mm, section good. too. Okay. Which is good. So peel this one away. Is there anything you can do with the waste? 
Yeah, loads of things. Um, you can keep it and just use the offcuts for to put uh, to iron on to other things. Okay. Um, or at Christmas, I saw people filling those clear baubles with all of their little bits. Oh, that's interesting. They looked really cute. That yeah. was a kind of cute idea. Yeah, all sorts of bits and bobs. Okay. Good. I save all my little offcuts and then, yeah, put them on as a kind of random pattern. Or yeah. Good yeah, but idea. always save your scraps like this because you can use them. Mm time and time again absolutely it's coming off nicely yeah. yeah you can be quite tough with it as well yeah that's there it we go and then we've got a couple of inside bits i'll just quickly pull those out oh see don't you throw those don't throw those away those bits <laughs> of waste because that you can get yourself a twofer out of this then, <laughs> yeah as i like to say <laughs> what do you like that a twofer yeah it's <laughs> cool um, you have got about 10 minutes, well, less than that, nine minutes remaining if you want to ask any more, any questions. Uh, and do make sure you check out your baskets. It's, uh, any of the Cricut items are only going to be on the website for the next 24 hours. That's how long you've got this offer for, and then it won't be on there. And then you have to wait till it comes back. Do you know when you're coming back? Some point next month, but well, I point. don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> haven't got the date yet. No. That's good. We'll, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah. And are they sort of releasing new lovely extra add-ons all the time? Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> um, there's lots of new things coming up. Um, there's lots of other th um, mosaic types and right. all sorts of beautiful things. So, yeah, keep an eye out. But there's always new things. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Mm. I don't know half of the things. I'm, <laughs> sure they've got, I'm sure they've got incredible things planned. Absolutely. I find this bit really s satisfying, actually. Yes. <laughs> I know that's a bit weird, but the weeding bit, because you reveal your pattern then, don't you? Yeah. It is really pleasing to yeah. do. Okay, just take off all those little bits we don't need. Now I've just got the bottom ones to do. Okay. Let's get rid of those I bits. shouldn't have put them there. <laughs> <laughs> They're stuck back on. <laughs> there um, we go. There's so many designs. How many designs did you say you can do? Over 100,000. Um, but remember as well... Would you get you through at all? Oh, I no, don't know. You, wouldn't. you can also upload your own. So, um, yeah, you can upload your own images. So if you're a designer or an artist oh. and you wanted to make your own things and yeah. put them onto stuff, you can do that too. You never even have to touch the, wow. the stuff if that's what you want to... Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me right. turn that off. Here's our okay, here's our first more. layer. So do you do it in layers then? Yes, when we've got two layers, we'll do them one at a time. That looks really good, the pink on the black, doesn't it? It's really nice and vivid. Yeah. Okay, I'll press that down like that. Mm -hmm. So again, pick up the easy press. I think I'll just get my whole image in. Yeah, I will. If you've got anything in your basket, do check out, because I know so many people absolutely are, you know, love their Cricut Maker and, of <laughs> yeah. course, all the extra additions that we've got on the show. So do check out your baskets. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is this, again, another sort of 30 seconds? And yeah, it counts 30 it down seconds, for you. so we're on 12 seconds mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. um, so nice and easy. Yeah. And, yep, it will bleep at you. And remember, if you leave the easy press for five minutes and you're not you don't touch it it will bleep loudly at you and then it will turn itself oh off. that's good so Bit like my straighteners yes indeed there we go so again we'll just let this cool a little bit mm -hmm. move it away from that mat yeah whilst that's cooling I'm just gonna weed this okay. little bit that I just cut okay there it is so again cut out the excess mm. Have you ever not put enough in so you've accidentally like missed half of your oh, image? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so just make sure you're putting enough, in, enough yeah. down for you. Don't be too frugal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like those little chevrons. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they weeded really nicely. Yeah, they, they did, didn't they? Perfect. Okay. So we'll bring him back. Should be able to pull this away now. Yeah. So pull away that carrier. Mm-hmm. Incredible the technology that this is now going to be able to uh, stretch and you can really pull it, can't you? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be really bad to see it with this. Um, so if you're a very bendy person, <laughs> if you're a gymnast, your clothes are going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. So Look yeah. at that. 
and it just keeps its Never. shape, which is fabulous. Mm. Little oh, lively one there, jumped yeah. across. There you go. Let's pop that one on as well. Let's flatten that out. Okay, oh, let's go that way. Let's go forward. Wonderful. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this back on top. All oh, right. Um, to protect this, because else we'll be putting it, uh, putting the plate straight on top of it, and okay. it will melt it. Oh right. So, so this is a really important tip. Back on top. Yeah. That will protect that vinyl that we've already done. Good. So again, press down for another 30 seconds, exactly the same. So the two layers of the carrier sheet on the blue strip that won't affect no, it. No, that'll be absolutely that'll fine. Be yeah. Fine. Okay. It's not thick enough to make any difference mm, absolutely we've got on screen for you the Cricut easy press it does come along with lots of additional tools and that wonderful bag I don't know why I'm obsessed <laughs> yeah. with that bag you can spread the cost three ways and you are saving 82 pounds three say uh, three payments of 83 pounds and 31 pence 730309 okay there we are and again, we'll just let that cool, mm -hmm. do a little waft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about the wafting. <laughs> do it on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, so I'll pick that layer yep. first. And then just check this is cooled a little bit longer. A bit longer. Oh, so if it's not cool enough, will it... Um, it will come up. So okay. it might, you might think that you've not pressed it enough, but you haven't. You just need to let it cool. Right. So don't go in it's and like press it again. It yeah, it needs to set into the fabric as it cools. Right. So lots of people make that mistake. They're pressing and pressing and pressing when actually all they needed to do was just be Leave patient it. a minute. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's an easy mistake to make. So there we go. It's cooled. Perfect. And there we go. And then we can give that another nice stretch. Give that a stretch to see. Brilliant. So soft and lovely as well. Yeah. Yeah, let's hold it up and give you a... Ta-da! Maybe I'll wear that to the gym. I know, it looks <laughs> really good. <laughs> Amazing. Um, we've got just a couple of minutes left. Have a look on the website where you can see the additional tools that we've got. Maybe you just want tools. Maybe you just want to stock up on some more of your vinyls. They're there for you. There's those lovely pens you can pop into your machine, your easy press. Um, actually got quite a lot on the uh, website, but not for long. Only for 24 hours. Right, so um, just um, for the last few minutes, do you want to talk us through one, one more time what we get, Emma? Yeah, indeed. So you're getting the Cricut Maker, which is the ultimate of the Cricut machines. Okay. Um, remember, this machine can cut anything from card um, through to pa um, paper, mm -hmm. through to your iron-on vinyl, your vinyl, um, all of your fabrics, denim, silk, lycra if you want, faux fur even. <laughs> <laughs> and then it can do your thin woods, um, so your balsa wood, mm. um, a thin chipboard. Great. Um, so many things it can do. It can also draw um, as well. So you've just got endless options with this for endless projects, mm. um, which is fabulous. Um, so you are getting your two blades, your fine point blade, mm -hmm. which is the one I've just used to cut vinyl. Right. You're also getting your rotary blade, which is the one we use to cut fabric. You're getting your two sticky mats to help hold your materials as we put them through the machine. Which one's for which? So your pink one is for fabric. Oh, it says And on there. your blue one <laughs> is your light grip. Right. So that's for paper and iron on. Okay. Card, those kind of things. Um, yeah, and just look how beautiful I it is. I know. <laughs> and then we've got uh, our lovely materials up here. Yes, we have. So we've got the holographic iron on that I was just using mm -hmm. um, previously. Um, which is beautiful. It's got these tiny little dots in it. It's yep. lovely. Then we've got a lovely adhesive foil set, um, which is on this water bottle. Right. Um, so yeah, just perfect vinyl for mm -hmm. adding to bits and bobs. Um, a foil iron-on, so perfect for t-shirts. Yep. Then you've got your neon sport flex, which I've just used on the t-shirt there. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your frosted vinyl as well, right. which gives you this kind of etched look. Um, so you could do glass nice. and mirror projects. And then you're also getting your tools with the weeding tool, etc. And also you've got the um, pens as well. Thank you, Emma. I'll just quickly give the details. We've only got about 20 seconds. Three payments of £146.31. and pence. You've got a £50 saving. It's just there for the 24 hours. If you sat on the fence, go for it because you're going to have so much fun. I know people who, like, <laughs> they can't stop using it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, 380666. Thank you very much, Emma. Thank you. We will see you again very yes. soon. Thank you. Right, more coming up after this short break. Next, we have got encaustic art with Michael Shona and Adam.
Then we've got Paul for the Get Groovy with Clarity One Day special, and then you can see Cricket again. Calling all crafters, this is a Hachanda announcement. We would like to inform you that our Hachanda buying crew have been busy flying around the world in search of incredible brand new products and show ideas to inspire and stimulate all of your crafty senses. So watch out for my favorite things, huggable lovable boots, CBK, cross stitch design, Fletcher's patch, project bin, hero arts, yes how much I love you quilting, colorific, new moon FM, folio flowers, slice tools, crafty so and so, Cutty McCourt, the crafty pig, Dare to be artsy, craft a clock, just bliss fabric, and many more. We will be checking in our latest new product arrivals from 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 23rd of January. Gates close at 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 30th of January. So join us on board flight Hachanda Air for our new arrivals event. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. So, Red good evening. Blue. It is eight o'clock. Now, what are we doing? Is it ink? No, it's not ink. Is it paint? No, it's not paint either. It's a medium you can manipulate many, many times over and over again. If you go wrong, you go back in and reheat and remaster. There is no right or no wrong way. This is a medium that you need to try over and over again. There are so many techniques that you have got <laughs> with this amazing product. Now I know what you're thinking, I'm thinking yes Adam, yes, yes, I've seen it all. Just give me, give me 15 minutes, give me 20 minutes of your time and I'm sure, I'm sure you are going to love this. This might be the new craft for the new year, you might be thinking of a new, new idea. This is the idea for you. We've got Mike and Shona here. How are we? Yeah, hey, Adam. good. It's been such Lovely. a long time yeah. since I last yeah. seen you both. Uh, are you both well? Yeah. You're both well. That's what I like. Now, th when I first saw this, I thought, no way. No way can you do. But it's not paint. It's not ink. It's wax. Yeah. And that's the beauty because wax actually melts and changes. So your picture yeah. is never wrong because you just remelt it and do it again. So you can't fail. That's the beauty. You can't no. fail. You, nothing is wrong. We're yeah. going to see many demonstrations this hour as well. We're going to try and rattle through as many as we can. Uh, yeah. Jonas, we'll leave you to set up for a new yeah. demonstration. Yeah. Uh, we've got Mike with me as well. We're going to talk of things we've got on the counter that's currently in front of us. Now, up first is what you could call a bumper kit. What you could call, whether you've never tried this before, this is the perfect place to start. This, is, this box contains everything you need. So in the box, you have the iron. You have 16 colours, all intermixable. You have the card, the A6 card and the A5 card sizes. You have full instructions 
and um, that's all you need, and a metal scribing tool so you can sign your name when you've done your artwork. So I'm, th so I'm going to ask the question that everyone out there is thinking, this yeah. is, well, it's wax, that's fair enough, I I'll just buy the waxes and I'll use my own iron at home. No, don't do that. But this <laughs> iron's got a very high quality thermostat. Um, the thermostat is what determines the stability of temperature. When wax gets um, hotter, it gets more liquid. When it gets cooler, it gets more solid. So what you're looking for is a small band of temperature where it's behaving in the way that we want it to behave. Oh. So that when you make textures on it, the texture holds until it and sets. If, it, if you're working too hot, then it'll be very, very liquid and so it's much harder to control when it's over hot. There's no steam holes, there's no Teflon, this iron is made for us for this. And once you buy the iron, then it'll be with you for years. It will. It's, really, it's one of those projects that you just need to get out of the box. Many people are scared, and as we said before, they leave it in the box because they don't. And we were just chatting about this before we went yeah. on air. It's one of these that you need to give it a go. And once you give it a go, you'll go, oh yeah, I can do that. I can hold this. What we're trying to do is to offer you an opportunity to explore what it feels like being creative. And by being creative, what I mean is finding something that you didn't know you were going to do. So it's like discovery as you go along. You're exploring. You're an explorer. And the beauty of this medium is that you can change at any time. So even if you take the iron away and it cools down, because heat is a solvent, you're not evaporating something like a normal paint. This is just a coloured wax that is liquid when it's warm and it's solid when it's cold. And so as, as we allow it to cool down, you can hold it in that shape for years and years, the mm -hmm. whole of your life, or you can put the iron back on any time next and year come back to it again. and change it. Now with the iron as well, I'm going to tell you about the iron. The iron itself is the iron, but I'm guessing if you can hold a pencil, yeah. you can use and you can create with this. Because it's very lightweight. You were also telling me last time you can change the handle uh, position on it as well. Yeah, the handle, it, it will, if you unclick the handle at the, the back here, there's a little button where my finger is there. And if I just pull it, then the handle comes off. And then you can set it down and it becomes a little hot plate. So then you can put the card on top and put the wax on top of the card and you have reversed the process. So it's, it's sort of drawing and doodling. You can use lots of different tools. We'll show you in the program. There's, there are so many tools as well. We've even made it easy for you. We put it on FlexiBuy as well. £20, £25 a day, £25 in a month's time with your postage and packaging. 119604. They are beautiful to work with. You are working with waxes. You can change colours. You can mix. You can blend. There's, there's hundreds of finished samples around us as well that you can create. I'm just going to grab one for the sheer fact Look at that. That is from wax. That you can be doing at home. If, you're, if you already do painting and you use photographs as a reference, that's what I did with this because I, I, we made a video back in 1991 and in the video the camera merged from the real place of this into this. So I, I got the shot from the video and I had to paint the painting so that it could merge into the wax and it's still here it's called Kaibur it's in uh, Pembrokeshire it is beautiful but as you were saying not that you would because this is stunning but you could if you wanted to go back and still edit the photos Abs if you wanted absolutely. to now if I dropped it or scratched it or anything I could fix it really easily I could change that foreground if I'd improved, if I wanted to put different flowers in. I, uh, yes, it can be changed. So it can change with you. Give it a go. Today is the day. £49.99, a one-off payment, or two payments of £25. One one nine six zero four is your item number. Now, we've got two of these styluses on the show. They're available in the UK or the um, EU plug. It's up to you. That's the only ones you have to decide on. Now, this stylus was the original stylus that you bought. Yeah, this is the low heat stylus. It's got a single low heat temperature, so you just basically plug it in and, and you're there. And it's got a side screw fitting. So this screw, you can just see it on the top here. Oh, yeah. Just turn it there. That screw there, right at the top of your picture, this one here. You use a Phillips screwdriver in there, so one of the screw um, cross screwdrivers. And that loosens the screw and the tip comes out. It comes with two drawing tips like this and one brush head. But we have a range of about 20 tips that also fit in, uh, which are threaded, which fit in the Stylus Pro. And all of those tips can be fitted in here, but there are about the three biggest ones don't really get hot enough. Okay. This is great for the medium size and the smaller tips. And 
is on a very special offer today. So if you're looking for a second stylus, if you've already got one, this is a fantastic opportunity. It really is. This is your opportunity to get the second stylus if you want as well. This is the, this is the opportunity now to grab it. You wait till you see the price of this, £14.99. You're saving £19. If you're thinking, Alden, well, I've got, I've got the hot plate, but I, I do need another stylus. This could be, you keep in the elements that you want. You haven't got to change. For these sorts of prices, I'd be getting two or three. And then you can have all the array of pencils that you've got in there as well. Already, the, a third of the UK plug has already gone. And this is the second live hour this evening. £14.99. There's only one decision you have to make. The UK plug or EU plug. That's the only thing you have to decide. £14.99. But, as I said, you get the extra tips in there as well. So for this sort of price, I'd be going for two of these and then you really haven't got to worry. It's really handy having more than one because you can leave your drawing tip, which is, uh, for me, the most useful, and then you can have a brush going or you can have one of the other shaped tips going. They're good for making patterns, for spreading, for um, different types of effects. It really is. And when I said, once you give it a go, you'll think, I wish I would have got one of them now. I really wish I would have got one. So pick them while they're at these prices. 819723 is your item number. Now, if you're going for the main bundle, you might want to go for the book and the DVD as well. Now, the only reason I say this, I know what you're saying at home. Yeah, of course you would say that, Adam. But I'm saying this for a reason. Everything that's on this double DVD, everything that's on here, is also in the book. It is a step-by-step -step guide that will talk you ease you in gently so you know really go, you'll go back to basics all the way up to some of the stunning images we see today we start from how to set out your work area really a total beginner's guide and go through some basics of color because a lot of people don't really know about no, color that's true. and then we look at mark making so when you learn to write you learn the alphabet so th we show you the alphabet of marks that the iron will make and develop from those marks into how to combine them into structures and images like landscape. It's just four effects. And so it goes on and goes on how to then use the things that you're producing with your die cutters, how to print onto fabric, how to use them as stamps. There are lots of crossovers. You know, I was going to say, there are lots of crossovers, and wait till you see stamps as well. If you're thinking, well, it's just what well, I just have to use the iron. No, you can bring in your other mediums to this as well. So all those stamps that you've got at home, the ones you love, the picture stamps that you normally just print out in black, and then put your font all the way around, you can also do this with the products as well. You can do this now in wax, and this will guide you every single step of the way. It's a fully coloured book as well. So you've got all the images in there. It breaks everything down from how to hold the stylus, what to do with the stylus, all the pattern making that Michael's talking about then. So everything that the iron will actually do and how to achieve the shapes that you get. There is so much in this book. I'm only flicking through quickly because I know what you're like. Uh, you'll keep pausing the telly. But £14.98 today for the book and the DVD as well. You're saving £12 on this. 876643 is your item number. Now, if you've already got one stylus, you might want to upgrade your stylus to the new and swanky one with dual, with dual heating on this one. Yeah, on the, on the handle of this one, if we go into the handle of that one, you'll see that there's an on-handle switch. And this switch has got a zero, which is the off position. And then it's got a one, which is your normal working position in the middle. And when you switch it on, if it was plugged in, then this little white dot there will turn into a red light. And that's quite handy because you can see if you've got it switched on then okay. um, when you're uh, in your room. And then if you want to boost it, you switch it on to uh, setting number two there. And that's good for um, the bigger tips. Um, and if, you want to, if you're doing bigger strokes with the medium-sized tips on larger card, then it's really handy to be able to boost it. But basically, you're working on one. And if you're trying to do very fine lines, if you switch it on to zero with a drawing tip in, as this cools down, the wax starts to congeal oh, and melts less, so you get finer and finer lines. So if I want to do very sharp things, I just flick it off, do my sharp stuff, and if it gets too cool, just flick it back on for a few, few seconds, warm it up, yeah. It is perfect. You're also getting the tips in there as well, as you can see down the front. You're also getting your oblong tip that's in there, and you also get your brush tip as well. Now, if you're thinking, Adam, these are beautiful, but I'd like more tips, there are more tips on the website as well. There's a pick and mix, and there's a set of five, which will show you through the shows as well. But once you've got these tips, you are set. You can make some stunning images. £30.59 on a freedom price. Remember, that's a delivered price to your door. 
or if you're not a Freedom member, there's also a price for you as well. All you have to decide is a UK plug or European plug. It's entirely up to you. £33.99 if you're not a Freedom member. Right then, hot plate up next. If you're thinking, well, how does this work with the iron? This is ingenious because your iron just goes at the bottom. Yeah. Do you remember I, I flicked the iron upside yeah. down just now? So if you imagine taking the handle off completely and then just sliding the iron in here where my hand is in that space then that iron is big enough to heat this plate because it's a very thick plate. If you look at the chunkiness it of that, like that, it's anodized aluminium, so it stays very um, clean in itself. You still have to clean it, of course. But that iron will heat the whole of the plate. And what that means is that suddenly, a little iron this big is allowing you to paint something that big. Oh, so it now gives you a bigger working space to work with. Now you can put your A5 card on there which will take up this much space, still have a little bit of room for your tools to, to melt them. And a little palette and yeah, stuff. Yeah, a little palette and stuff. It's a great tool. Um, it really, really is. And it's good quality as well. Remember, you're buying into quality. It's sturdy. You know it's going to last you as well. This is going nowhere. They said the iron goes straight into the bottom. You've already got the iron because you went for the first kit that we showed you. And then you get your plate as well. Bigger working area, which means you can do more imagery. You can create more stuff as well. Things like, and these are only the little ones, but it gives you the ideas of what you can actually do. Look at some of the imagery that you've got on here. Now maybe this is on your hot plate, maybe this is just with your iron as well, but there is so much you can do. The list is endless. And then, hot plate works. with your hot plate, you can create stunning backgrounds, stunning sceneries. Look at things like this. How beautiful. And that's all wax and a hot plate you never would have thought it but these are what you can create when you get your hot plate and your iron home 43 pounds across two flexible payments or 85 pounds and 99 pence zero two four three six nine is your item number for your hot plate as well now if you're going for your hot plate you might want some of your utensils as well and sponges we've got these on the show as well there's so much more on the website check on the web as well so if we're going for this little bundle what would we use each one of these for? Well, the, there are three hard sponges, one texturing sponge, so that's a much softer one, and that's for texturing, so evening out the wax all over a surface. These ones are more for using the edges, so you can take that edge there, and when you bang that edge down, like this, if you notice, you can see it squashes a little bit, but it yeah. leaves lovely marks. Okay. So you can tap it as you walk along, as you move along, and, and it makes lovely marks. The plug, the same thing. Um, the white sponge, you can push wax around, you can use the edges, the corners. Very versatile, actually, the type of marks you can get from them. And then the comb itself, the rubber comb, has got three different um, edges on it. So we've got a very fine edge here. Really fine. And then, and then we've got um, a rough edge here. And then we've got a sort of a medium toothed edge there. So each of those, when you drag them through the wax, so you think if it's down on the, the wax and you just drag it along, it's going to leave these comb effects behind. So it's going to leave all the marks that you need, all the marks to build up your scenery, to build up the backgrounds and create all the magical worlds that you want to create, remember, out of wax. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Zero seven six eight five five is your item number. The quickest and the easiest thing to do is jump to the website. Everything is on the website. There is even more on there. Look at the five-star reviews again. Once again, these are not reviews from us. These are reviews from yourself. Uh, there's extra wax on there as well with the tape. If you want that, there's extra feet on there. A little tiny feet uh, tips. If you want to use the feet, there's a pick and mix, and you also get the set of five as well. If you want more cards, there's more card on there. There's 70 sheets of mixed white card that's on there. All the waxes are on there should you want to get more. Say you're buying this for a gift, uh, there's two different colours on there as well. And you can also top up with eight blocks for $9.99. Uh, as the show goes on, we'll ask, which colours would you use the most of? I suppose it depends on what you're creating, but I'm sure that the, the, the standard ones that you'll need. Look, we're still scrolling. We're still scrolling through all these waxes. Remember, you can get any eight of these for £9.99. Uh, but what you're going to need, though, to begin the whole journey is your starter kit. So let's get down to business and see what, how this actually works. Yeah, so we've got to go back to the beginning. You've probably heard the tech or the techno babble now, so you actually want to see what it does. So what I'm going to do is talk you through a basic little landscape. So 
<coughs> you, one of the things you use a lot in, in encaustic painting is white because that's um, the, the, the form of light for your sky. So the, the lighter in your sky is, the more real the picture will look. So I'm just going to put some, um, quite a nice big chunky white wax there and then just put a little bit of colour on. This has got to be like sort of a sunset, sunrisey type colours. And then I'm just putting the iron down and just smoothing the iron towards me. And you can go back over it as many times as you like, but every time you go over it, you've got to melt what you've already done. So you've got to change it. So if you like what you've done, stop. Stop. And that's the biggest thing. You tend to overwork it because you want, oh, I want to do it again. Get another card. And then maybe you don't then, like yeah. what you've done the next time. Yeah. So but I'll, I like that because I've got nice light there. It's coming in for here, you see. So I'm just going to work on that. So the thing about the uh, wax is that the colours all blend together and when you first start what you tend to do is put, melt one wax, put it on, put another lot on and go over the top and then you're actually just melting what's underneath. Uh -huh. So if experiment with the colours on the iron at the same time and the iron will blend them for you. So there's still some colour there, I don't need to get rid of that, that'll just blend into what the, greens, the, and, the, the greens and browns that I'm going to put on the, in the next one. So I'm just going to put some nice bits of green here. And you can just mix the different colours of green, a little bit of brown. You don't be frightened to add the colour and see how the iron blends them. So then just start slightly above your skyline and then just smooth the iron backwards and forth the card. You're not pressing hard, you know, you're not pressing your jeans. You're pressing something like really delicate. So suddenly you've got depth and when people say they've never painted before, um, it's because they kind of get perspective in your painting. It's all just looks really flat. Yeah, really. But that doesn't know. Look at that. Yeah. And I can't, I can't draw or paint. I don't even write nice. So <laughs> when I started this, I, could, I thought if I can do it, anybody can do it. Obviously, it took practice of using the colours and stuff, but it does, it does um, get every day a result. Now, I'm lifting it up and dabbing into it to get my foreground. And there wasn't oh. a lot of wax there, so I've got a finer effect. So I'm going to add a little bit of colour to give the, the front heaviness so that it'll actually look more um, grounded. So if I, I just put I in just a little bit of... how easy it is. Look at that picture already. So you've got like sky, black. you've got mountains, you've even got the grass in the foreground as well, the reeds and the... It, happen, it comes together so quick. And as we said, don't be scared. Have a go. So I'm putting it on the middle part of the iron this time. And again, I've just got to do little dabs and this is just going to be your Scottish heather and among the hills there. So yeah, it's, it's blending and it's taking your eye into this bit as well where the colour is. The side of the iron, I was sh we always show, is just for to do the grassy reedy effects. So you can sort of wiggle it a different way so they're, they're all looking a bit more spontaneous. And then again, when it comes to doing little details like the birds, you can use the point of the iron as well. But if you want to do it finer, that's when it's really handy to have a stylus because you can work with a really fine um, head on that. So you can just put the uh, um, tip in till you just get a little bit of wax. We are busy for the stylus at the moment as well. And there's also, I need to tell you, there's also phone uh, cues, phones on the cues. There's also cues on the phones as well. So either jump to the website or tap the app would be the quickest way to start checking out now so, if I were you. So I'm going to have a flock of starlings coming here. It's that time of year when you see them in the fields. You sort of walk past them and the whole field just goes, Whoosh, you know, that's it, it's <laughs> gone, you know. <clears throat> so. And again, just putting in the little flower heads. If you just sort of like dab it like this, it's sort of mere random. Whereas if you sort of go like this, it's a bit too, you too know, placed. yeah, too placed. So you can just sort of put it in and then just, and just little dabs like that can look like poppies. When you get bigger, you've got to make it look more like a poppy or, you know, a flower. Yeah. But when you're doing small A6 size, you just want that sort of a little delicate effect. So it's really easy to get an effect with it. And as Mike showed in the earlier um, show, it's good if you're going to be selling your work or to, like, um, using it for bookmarks or, or cards, to use some sealer just to seal it because when it's in, getting into the envelope, if it's getting rubbed around a lot, the yeah. wax can um, get dirty on the envelope. And, and that's the thing, remember it is wax. Yeah. It is wax, so it will have a colour to it, so if you move them around a lot, the, the colour is going to rub away. So you do want the sealer, we've got the sealer on the show as well. So this is, you only, you don't need to do all your pictures with it, but only the ones that you're actually going to be sending in the post or maybe making um, bookmarks or something like that. Okay. So you just put a little drop on and then just um, spread it across the card. 9.99 for your sealer as well. Yeah, 150 millilitres. And then just dab it. 
like that and then just leave it to dry and it Why does. do we damp for? It's just to make it to, um, so that it's got an even texture or the whole lot. If okay. you don't do it with a brush, you can get the brush marks and stuff. Ah. So you've got to do this. I think Mike's word for it is scumble or something like that. He's got the posh word. I scumble? Just, yeah. Scumbler spreading. Scumbler scumble spreading. spreading, yeah. So that's the first little oh, picture, look at yeah. That. So I'll let you pick it up because I'll always put it the wrong way to the telly. <laughs> so. I'm no better, to be fair. Oh, well. Look at that. You imagine that now in a, once again, my favourite, a little box frame. But that is a picture in itself. That is a postcard in itself. And once again, if you think, you go back, you put it down tonight, you come back tomorrow morning, you think, that bird needs to be changed a bit. That sky, I could put a little bit in the top corner. You can go straight back in. Well, once you've sealed it, though. You can't go back in. Yeah, no. You don't see. You don't go back in once you've sealed well, I'm it. Stuck now like that. I wanted a little sun in there and all. Yeah, that. that's it. Sealed now. So rather than show you how to do a stamp, you all know how to stamp. So basically, I've just stamped the card, waited for it to dry, or just dried it off with a tissue. Now we've got these stamps on the show as yep. well. We're going to bring the detail. There's four options: eleven ninety nine, uh, A six. Um, this is these fantasy. Are here. Yeah, this oh, is here. here. Yeah. So you have got fantasy, which are the um, angels. Angels. Angels, they could be fairies. <laughs> yeah, it depends. <laughs> this one's um, a actually a mermaid, which You've I'm going to use. the mermaid collection. The mermaid's really easy to use because obviously she's just swimming in the sea. So all you need to do is make it look like water and you're fine. And there's so, many more. There's, you've got the stags in there. I love the stag. The stag one is amazing when you go in with your greens and your browns. Yeah, I did that as a Christmas card last. Well, oh. no, this is last year. It was the year before now. That's the thing, isn't it? The year's just zooming. It's a quick, nearly at the end of January already. Yeah, no quite. Another nine days, as everybody keeps telling me. So, as oh. you see, I've used the clear, and I've went out here, and you can see her still quite clearly, but I can take a bit more wax off again, and that way it'll just, she'll just show up even more. But remember, because she's in the sea, all you need to do is just put the iron down and wiggle it, and because of the current in the water, it doesn't matter, because it's going to look oh, yeah. as if it's, um, it's all just floating along. Do you need Could any the particular coral. ink? when you stamp? You want an ink um, dye pad, you don't want a um, pigment one. Okay. So it's ink, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A dye, yeah, a dye, no, no pigment. No pigment, just a, a standard. Because when you, when you put the heat on, the pigment, uh, the iron can melt the pigment and it can come off, so you want a dye pad. Ink. Yeah. And again, when you're doing the grassy effects, just come in for the side and it just looks like it's the... It's got seaweed. The seaweed is uh, moving along. And again, with the, the, the tip of the iron or the stylus, whatever, you can actually draw little sea anemones. And my little grandsons are three and four, and they just love when they see the little anemones in the rock pools where we live. Mm. They're all going up to them and wanting to touch the little. <laughs> but once again, the iron is your tool. The iron is the thing that does all the work. So if you are going for the star to keep, the details are on the screen at the moment. Maybe that's the only thing you go for today. There's enough wax in that one set to cover about 200 bits of card. So, you know, you've got a lot of, a lot of wax there to cover, to You're play with. To go. You're so good to go. You're good to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to polish it and you'll see the wax that will uh, shine up that's on top of her as well. So it'll actually bring it even, give you more depth to it. Okay. Do you buff with anything in particular? Or no, just, a just tissue. tissue. Just tissue. Yeah. So if you can just, can you just see her there? Um, see Look what I mean? At Look at wrong, the shine. The wrong way. Yeah. So you really have got that shine on there, so always buff up your photos. Once yeah. you've done them, give them a little polish, and it just gives you that professional look once again, whether you're putting them in frames or whether you're uh, gifting them. Can you make to sell? Yeah, yeah, you can use any of the stamps. We don't have any... Um... There's a good old angel policy yeah. that you can make to sell. Yeah. So what you're making today, £49.99, pounds. remember you've also got it on Flexi as well. You could make tons of these and sell them. You can make your money back instantly. And remember, you could do them there and then for them. Go on, sorry. It's all right. I'm just going to say, remember, when you're doing your stamps, you can also um, use the um, little hot plate as well. Another really handy one for Christmassy time okay. is when you um just going to melt some of the... This is the silver wax. I love this. So I'm just melting it on the iron here. And then just... Oh, I'm using it as a neck. Yeah, mm. I'm just yeah, I'm just using it as a, like an ink here, inking this up with the wax. Now obviously you have to keep it on the iron, otherwise it would go back to yeah. normal wax. Yeah, and then I'm putting the card, the black card, 
on the um, hot plate here and then just putting it down like this. And then you can just take your finger and just wipe a little bit away like this. Great and it's very easy to get a result with it. That's what's really nice. And again, just put, put it in here. And just do the, li like the little birds again in the sky. Oops, no, I've not got my glasses on. <laughs> Where are your I'm glasses? being vain, I'm being vain. They're in my handbag. Oh. So, um, <laughs> well, as well as women like it. Eh? <laughs> so, um, yeah. So then again, you can just get a polish. And if you've used in the big hot plate, obviously it's much easier because you can do it all in the one thing. You can have this sitting at the side and you can you add can in it as well. Now. Yeah. So one of the other things I quite like to do as well is just to take the tissue and get some wax on it. And then again, just add in there. And you can do it with like, um, with a lot of the white as well, so it could look like snow as well. Oh, you can also put the um, white wax onto the, the card, uh, the iron here and then just get a little brush here somewhere nope so the details on the screen are the moment after the main bundle the big bundle the one that everything you need will cover this selection you get the waxes in there Oops. you get your iron in there you get the card in there as well you get 30 sheets of the a6 white card you get 10 sheets of the a5 white card you get your um, metal scrubbing tool in there you also get your iron in there as well you get so much and you get full instructions in there. Everything you need for two payments of £25. So all I'm doing here is just splattering it here with the white to make it look like it's oh, a it snow fall. And then again, you know, you can just sort of feel like as if it's starting to build up. If you're unlucky and like living in Canada last week, they were getting like, you know, some friends put some pictures up and they had like 30 feet of snow. You know, you couldn't oh. get out of your house. It was amazing. So it's very easy to get a result with it, even if you've got very limited, as you, some people think, oh, I don't have any artistic ability whatsoever. We have rubber stamps and, you know, just some of the information for the books and stuff like that. You can, you can get a result. It's really good. I had a friend's um, grandson come up and um, he's got learning difficulties and he doesn't he often get a chance um, where, he's, where he's at to explore with craft. And he came to our place and I said, oh, go and have a go. So I got him to have a shot. And he done, you know, the first one, and he went, did I do that? Did I really show him? I said, yeah. He said, can I do another one? I said, yeah. So he went on, and he done about five or six pictures. And when he gave them to his friends, says, thank you for Christmas presents, they went, did you want to do them? He says, no, I did them. And they said, really? They couldn't believe it because they were so good. Because he just listened to what I had tell him, and he just copied what I was doing. And he had, it was really chuffed. And you can do this as well. Remember, you've got 60 days on Rewind as well to watch these shows back. So if it's the first thing you do is you go back and watch Rewind, you keep pausing it, you do everything that you see here, you are going to create stunning images like this. You are going to create stunning images from the previous hour as well with Alex. As you can see, we've got FlexiBuy on the show as well, £25 in total. But what is FlexiBuy? I hear you cry. I know. Don't worry. I've got it covered. <laughs> Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Yes, indeed, Flexi Order makes everything easier, and it really does. We know it's the end of January. We know everything these days is a considered purchase. £49.99. I can make it easier for you. I can split that into two Flexi Buys of £25. But, Adam, I don't know if I can do it. You can. You can do it. 
you get everything you need in your starter kit. You are getting the iron. Remember, if you feel you can turn it into the hot plate as well that we've just seen. You're getting all of the waxes that you will need to make about 200, about 200 pictures. So maybe the first 50 are just practices. You've still got enough in there to go at it a time and time again. You're also getting 30 sheets of the A6 of the white card. You're getting 10 of the A5 white card as well. And you're getting a full instruction book. What a perfect gift this would be. What a perfect bottom drawer present. That present when someone pops round and they buy you a beautiful gift and you go, ha ha, yeah, I got nothing for you. you now you have. That gift that you don't know what to get someone, but they're really into crafting and they've tried everything. This could be the new one for these. This could be the new one when January, your New Year's resolution could be starting, learn a new craft this year. What a, what a craft to start. You've got your stamps already. You've got those odds and ends of bits of paper around the house that you can use to create your beautiful collages. And now you can create depth and beauty in your photos as well, all with wax. If you don't like it, you go straight over back with the iron and it would change the picture completely. Make your borders, put them, then run them through your die cutting machine. There's so much you can do. £25 a day, £25 in a month's time. 119640 is your item number. Now, if you're going for the main item, you might want your stylus as well. Now, your stylus itself, you change the ends. This is the original stylus. Now, the original stylus is £14.99. I hear what you're saying. How do I change the ends with a little pin that's just in the top here? Take out the screw and swap the ends. You're getting three ends included in the price. You're getting two drawing tips and then one of the brush heads as well. Everything you need to create detail. Everything you need to create depth. If you can draw, you can pick up the pencil and you can try. Maybe just scratch it out here, take a little bit there, do them tiny little poppies. Adam, I can't draw poppies, you don't need to. Little dots in the foreground, in the distance, do a little wicker fence. Everything you need, but you need the detail, you need the precision. The precision you get with the iron, but you can get more precision with your stylus as well. 819723 is your item number, £14.99. Book and DVD up next now. These shows are only repeated for 60 days on the website. 60 days aspire, what do you do then? You're merrily going around, you have a, you have a blockage. You, try, you can't remember how the iron works. These will walk you through, hold your hand every single step of the way. Every project that's on the DVD is also in the book as well. And there are also extra projects in the book that you can do. This will guide you hand in hand from the beginning of how to set up your work area all the way through to how to create some of the beautiful artwork that you see next to me and behind me. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. And you can be creating images like this at home. A portal to another world. But you can do this. £14.98 will show you how to do it and you get the DVD included as well. 876643 is your item number. Shimmy on down, you can tell I'm excited, I don't want to get back to demonstration. Uh, I'm speaking quicker and quicker. Stylus number two. Your second stylus is here, £33.99. 987208 is your item number. This one has the two heat settings. So you have setting one and you also have setting two on here. Setting two, if you need it a little bit more, if you need it, that's slightly warmer. That's slightly warmer if you're using the larger, uh, the larger styluses that come in the collection. You want that little bit more heat to power through there. Nine times out of ten, you just need it on setting one. You're also getting the little feet in two, you get the oblong. And you're also getting the brush in there as well. These ones just pull in and out. Be careful when you're pulling them in and out because they will be hot. £30.59 is a freedom price on this. And you've also got your normal price as well. Hot plate up next, though. Maybe you want a hot plate. You saw you can turn the iron upside down to create it as a hot plate. Well, now you have a larger hot plate. Your iron pops just underneath, just in this section just here. Take the handle off, slide it upside down, and that will heat the entire hot plate bed solid. You know it's going to last. You know it's going to last you a lifetime. £85.99. 024369 is your item number. Freedom price of £77.39. And it's on flexible payments as well. £38.70 if you're a Freedom member. £38.70. Two flexible payments. And then your sponge accoutrements. So everything you can do with the sponges. The sponges, you can use the edge, use the font, use the... Well, it's all there to create shape and create detail in your work. 
The meat's on the hot plate, you can then manipulate the wax to do whatever you want it to do. The easiest thing to do though is jump to the website, shop ahead on the web. We're very, very busy, we're having a busy hour and everything is on the website for you. Lots of pit and mixes, lots of five star reviews on the website as well. Everything has a five star review. There's more brushes for you on there as well. Extra tips are on there. There's a pick and mix for £13.49, or you can get a set of five for £18.99. More cardstock on there as well. Wax sealer, wax is on there. There's the wax, well, there's loads of wax on there. Um, right then, let's get back to the demonstration. Let's see more demos. What, what we've created now, Uncle. 200 cards you said out of the waxes. I just wanted to mention about that. Remember, when you do your cards at the beginning, the best thing to do is as soon as you get a card that you like, stop, put it aside, and then as you progress, you look back across your cards and you think, actually, I, I could change that one. So take your card and carry on working. So you don't need 200 cards to start with, but if you buy an extra pack of cards, the A6 cards, you get a few waxes with them, then you'd have 150 cards in pretty much to use all that wax. That's amazing. Isn't it just? Right, I've been instructed now oh. that I've got, to <laughs> oh. I've got to do a particular demo. And this demonstration is um, about using the, the iron to create a fantasy scene. Oh, OK. And can you see I've just got a drip on you? can't see. I've just got a drip yeah, on can. my card. Oh, you can. Yeah, there it is. So don't worry about that. Sometimes it happens. Always clean the bottom part of the iron here this channel across the bottom of the iron because that's where the wax when it's sitting like this down it drips the in. wax goes there it collects in there if you, you can see how much I've taken out of there on that tissue so I'm not saying who was messy before well, I came here but not <coughs> pointing no fingers but they're sitting no over fingers. the far end <laughs> yeah so what I'm going to do is to create a reflected castle because people like this image you start with dark color in the middle that's what's important so I'm building up a logical loading of the iron Basically, I've just got dark colour in the middle, and then I've got white either side of it. Okay? Yeah. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread that across the card. So I'm going to start here. I'm not trying to do the whole card with this. I'm just doing the middle part. So this is my dark, and the light is spread out top and bottom. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is to use the edge of the iron. So I'm going to clean the iron off with a piece of tissue. And now I'm going to run this straight edge of the iron here, that we can see, that straight edge there, look. And I'm going to put it down parallel to the edge of the card. And then I'm just going to move along and I'm going to push it up so that some of that dark colour goes up into the light colour. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a sort of a castle, futuristic castle city. Okay? Oh, look at when that. I've done that, what I do is I turn the card round and then put the iron down there, parallel to this edge now, just run that straight edge down through, turn it back, <gasps> and we've got our reflections. I haven't done that quite straight, so I can go back, don't worry about it, and just straighten it out. So now I've got nice reflections. Now I could just use this edge, if I clean it, and then just dab it, lightly on and off what it does is it brings some of that color down and it gives them a watery effect <laughs> which is quite simple really what i've done and then what i could do is i could think to myself okay i want to make uh, m make this more interesting so i'll put a board around it now i could use the wax that's here but can you see that when you mix white wax with other colors it goes pastelized yeah. and then it goes a bit uh, I'm going to use the word mushy um, it, it, it weakens it and I like stronger color but even then you can still use it like that it looks fine really what I might do though is on the other side just to show you the difference is if I just heat this piece up and then take a tissue whilst it's warm you can wipe the color away so the colors oh. on here now so it's upside down, remember. So I put it the right way back up. So now I've, I've, I could leave it like that. But what I'm going to do is to take the colours that I originally had, and I'm going to now slide the iron around here. Look, following that line roughly. Can you see the difference in colour? The difference yeah. in quality. 
And now I'm going to use the iron and just do that very simple patterning. Same sort of things on the other side. I just want to show the contrast of those things. And then what I could do is I could um, carry on. So I could maybe put a, um, I know what I'll do. I'll put a, a flat border across the bottom. So if I just take blue, and then I'm going to put, so if you think about it, when I turn the iron, this will be at the top. So I'm going to put the purple here, like that. And then I'll put it down here, look, and I'm just going to go right the way across. Quite a hard line, go again, to pull a bit more colour. So you're pulling the colour across. Yeah. And now, like shown had, I, I could have a foreground here, so I could um, do some dabbing. When you lift the card, what you're doing, if I just show you, uh, maybe you can oh, see how I'm just seeing. Oh, right, there you see it there. Look, you can see that I'm pushing the things together like that. So as I push this on, I'm not letting the top edge of the iron touch. And what that does is it gives a more random feeling to the top of the wax here. If I let the edge touch, yeah, then I get the hard line. line. And if I don't let the edge touch, I don't know if you saw that, but anyway. No, we got it. So there we are, we've got that. So now um, I've just got to do a bit at the top there. And what I could do is I could just go back on here, look, and I just come down a bit lower and join up with my light stuff here. So now I've got a sort of a cavern out look. <laughs> what I can do then is I could take the scribing tool that you get in your starter set and then just work little windows down here, look. And all that is is just a little row of scratches. Everyone's seen high-rise buildings on the telly, haven't they? And then you could even reflect some of those down here. And I could use those in the dark areas to do the little birds that Shona already did earlier on. And then I could draw a little moon in here, like just do a little round thing. Just keep going round and round. I don't know where to watch. I don't know. I'm watching screens, I'm watching live. It's And then just give it the like polish. That is phenomenal. And you can see how it goes. And you think, oh yeah, good, he's finished. But I don't need to have finished. I can carry on and on and on with it. And all of that that you've just seen is from the starter kit. Everything that you've just seen being used is what you're getting for £25 today on two flexible payments. 119604 is your item number for your starter kit. But it's necessarily not a starter kit because it's everything you need. It's a kit that will keep on giving because you can now create images like this. You saw how quick and easy this was to put together. And then you can go from this size all the way to this size. And was this done in exactly the same way? Same thing, yeah. It's just obviously the strokes of the iron are bigger because you've got to take the whole iron up here. But yeah, it's exactly the same process. It is so clever. It's very, very clever. Very, very clever. And very, I say very easy, like I've, I've tried, but it's very easy. You, I've seen it, I've seen it done here. I'm guessing after a few practices, once you get the technique of the iron, you could be doing this at home as well. I know people will be sitting at home thinking, but no, never. But in the book and on the DVD that I've done in the basics, this is very, very carefully shown and people can and do do it, even people who are naysayers and I can't do it. So I'm just using silver in the, the image here now, and I've used, a, you can't see it very well, you see it much better there now, a whole row of dots down one edge. Another thing you can do is you can take colour off. So if I just use the iron here, look, and just slide it all the way down, and then take my tissue, wipe that colour away, I could either use the stylus to put the line down there, or I can just use the edge of the iron, like I did for the castles. So if I run the edge of the iron through the block of colour, so I've now got colour on the edge of the iron, and then just put the iron down on here and run it down that line, you can you see how much stronger it makes it? Yeah. Suddenly it's sort of thinking, yeah, there's something there now. Just go back up and tidy it up right the way off. So now I've got a nice line there, and then what I can do is I can do a row of dots on the outside. Just remember as well, it, it you'll go for the starter kit, but you've also got the stylus there as well. The details are on the screen, £33.99. 
uh, for the stylus that we're using here in the demonstration. But could you also use the other stylus if you wanted to do It would do exactly the same thing. For this, it will do exactly the drawing tips you get in the other stylus will do exactly that. The choice is yours so which stylus you want to go for. Um, but what you need first, though, is you need this starter kit. You need this collection. And you can be that is absolutely stunning. I'll show you one more little quick trick. Oh, yeah, go, go on, on, go on. How's time going for us? Uh, we oh, have dear. 10 minutes. Oh, that's fine. This is just a, a it's not a trick, it's just a tip. The silver wax, if you're going to buy on the pick and mix, then the best wax, my favourite one to go for, for the metallics, is the silver. Okay. And if I melt a pool of that onto my upturned iron, and then just touch that edge into the pool of wax, can you see it's lining that edge with oh silver? Do you see words. it on that edge? So if I turn it around now, try not to touch the bit I've just done, do it again, same thing, and I'll just go right the way around. And then we'll actually have a finished bit of artwork, which is, I don't normally give myself time to do this on the telly. <laughs> so you imagine, now, even if you're just using this to edge your cards, that finishing touch on your cards, look at that beautiful border. And you have seen that from a blank piece of card to what we've got now. That is, that is amazing. That is Absolutely phenomenal. Great. So that was demo one. <gasps> demo one. There's another demo. Yes, I think we've still got time. Uh, yes, we have. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show you um, the compact hot plate mm -hmm. because we've just looked at the iron as a little hot plate. And I'm going to move on to a bigger one. Okay. I'll put the iron over there. It's stunning. The compact hot plate is heated on the inside by the same iron exactly. I've actually got an older version because they don't go wrong. So this iron is set and you can see I've got the high, it's turned up as full as it'll go yep. and it's been on for, I'll just leave it on for hours and hours. <laughs> um, and that heats the whole of this plate to quite a good temperature. Now I'm going to do another um, larger one here. There are two ways of securing the card to the hot plate. The first one is just using wax, which is what I'm actually going to do. And the second one is using heat tape like this, which can also act as a masking tape. Yep, there's a deal for that on the website as well. You get a couple of blocks of the wax and you also get the tape in there. Check the website for details. What I could do actually is maybe, if I'm clever enough, I'll be able to, if I measure it, if I do it to about there with the wax, I'll just put that down on there, so that would hold by itself. But if I take this now, just to show you how it works, and just put that across there. Oops, I'm trying to get it so it's even. <laughs> Try again. It's e always the way when you're even alive. I, even I get it wrong, yeah. Even I get it wrong, that'll do. All right. Oh, I've got asbestos fingers, sorry, I forgot to say. So, <laughs> just use a piece of tissue. I've got a piece of tape in my mouth as well, I've just been told off for that. <laughs> right, so oh, now... No one saw it, you were fine. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you press this down with a piece of tissue, what it does, hopefully, is not do that. It, it, what I'm trying to do is just to make the, t the tape very stuck. So the, that the wax doesn't go underneath yeah. it, yeah. And then what I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to show you how it works. So if I just put some glue on. I like the way you can just draw. Um, you just put paper onto the hot plate and you can just literally use them like colours. Yeah, and I just take some orange. Well, one thing I want to show you is that if I... You, I've got blue here, but if I put the orange there, it the replaces orange. the blue. So it's a bit like a, it just gets rid of it. It just pushes it aside, oh, okay. which is quite handy. Um, what other colours should we have? Let's have blue-green. That's a nice colour. I've got no idea what I'm doing now. I've just sort of set off into this. And that's the way we, that's what we like. Ahead. We like <laughs> these demos. <laughs> so you can see that you can, again, if I put the blue on here now or the blue through the orange, you can get rid of the colour that was there already. Yep. And what I want to show you is that there are a range of tools. So we've got some sponges. Sponges are on the show as well. And basically, there are two different types of sponges in the set. There's the um, texturing sponge, which is the orange one, and then there's the hard block sponge, which is this white one. And that also comes in two uh, other shapes. So I've got a little plug, and I've got this ring thing. 
And they're really handy. I really like using these. They also come a lot cleaner than that. Oh, yeah, yours much. Yours more right. Much more slick. <laughs> <laughs> so that that will arrive to you. Now I'm going to just use a texturing sponge to literally move that wax into a fairly even sort of coating like that. Okay. So it's just texturing. It's just sort of um, spreading it out. Would, if we then took that sponge to another piece of card, would the colour run off onto the... Do you yeah, clean yeah. that? If, if I put that onto... Um, if onto I like just, a white card. Yeah, if I just take a little bit of white card there and go over my taped area and just hold that down for a minute, then you'll see that by now it should have melted on so there. You, you can create beautiful backgrounds with this as yeah, well. Yeah, you could leave it as simple as that. That could be the end of the whole... Just put a row of dots down there and you've... And mm, happy you've birthday the, and you've got the card. Yeah. Right? It's as simple as that, really, encaustic. Using the... the blocks of um, sponge you could just drag through I could use the long edge just to tap and if I do that in a structured way or I could go round in a curve like this all sorts of things you can do with it just to create build up of patterns I could use the square edge of the um, sponge and just bang it on there to go across and you can see it hides what was already there replaces it with its own patterning underneath the card is staying clean so if I just take a clean bit of wax a clean bit of tissue, tissue. you can see that it's still clean under here so what I could do here now is I could just open this up and I could make um, let's just make it into a little landscape so I could use this to push color I was you could just need to use the tissue. Yeah, or you could use the um, the block. So I could take colour here with the block and just push that into a, a sort of a landscapey shape. Can you see how it works? I mean, there's, there's lots of things you can do. We've still got this patterning up here. So um, let me just make that into something by tapping the edge of this round one. Again, I'm just sort of making borders to contain this bit of landscape that I've sort of half yeah, It's made. like leaves though when you use that one. It looks like you could do like a jungle theme, like, all le like a little leaf border. Yeah, that's all just with one sponge. So it's so versatile what you can do with it. Let's get rid of all of that now. We've got about two and a half minutes left. Okay, so I better finish it into something. <laughs> um, this piece of card, I'm just going to tear it right on the edge of the board here. And then I'm just going to put some wax on here, look. You can turn this into an image. I'll be amazed. Okay, here we go. I can't wait for this. And then I'm just—I'm going to put a bit of sky in there, and I'm just going to use this to create my castles again. So if I just push that up like this, actually, I can use a straight edge for this bit. Like a bridge. So these are my castles. If you were, if so, be, say people are buying the starter kit and they're also going for the pick and mix. What, what, say, let's say, what five colours would you say will go for extra in your pick and mix? Oh, you get eight, but we'll go for five. I'd go for silver. I'd go for. It depends. If you're using stamps, I'd go for an extra clear. I'd go for. Um, I like. I like all the metallics actually. Okay. The gold. Um, the. Um, Copper. Let's just do a little bit of this. Um, uh, what else would I have? I'd have. Do you go for like your dark, your blacks, and your whites? Yeah, you use lots of your, a white for your sky, don't you? I suppose, yeah. yeah. Can you see how this is just Look building up? together? Um, let's do this one across the top. We'll just have a little. Plan it in there, and then I'll just finish it off with a quick stylus. Bird. So we've only got a minute left. So Shannon, for those people that are still sitting on the fence, they're watching tonight and thinking, yeah. "I'd like to give that a go, but I, I don't know if it's for me." What would you say to those people? I'd say get together with your, your, some of your mates and just buy it between you, and then have a night where you just go around each other's house and have a nice time. Okay. And you don't need to be uh, frightened of having a go because it's like doing a jigsaw. As soon as somebody starts to do it, you think, "Oh, I want a shot." 
you know, and you, it's, you, you just help each other because when you're doing the, all the abstract effects, somebody will say, oh, look, you've got a whale there, or look, yeah, it looks like a, a ghost, or it looks like a castle, and, and you know, because sometimes you don't see it and others do, and so you help each other. So sometimes it's actually just good to get next to somebody else, or buy it for your husband as a, you then, know, and then do it yourself. And then you can have a little go. <laughs> uh, whatever you've got in your baskets, please do check out. That is amazing, and you saw the technique that you were there. Uh, thank Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Brilliant. I Thank love doing these yep. shows. Thank you very Good. much. Don't you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here on Her Chanda. So the next three hours look a little bit like this. Don't go anywhere now though. It's another chance to look at your one day special. Ooh, let's get groovy. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been paper crafting for over 20 years now. You could say it's a passion of mine. Uh, Sentimentally Yours is my award-winning brand of craft products. I design stamps, paper pads, uh, tools, embellishments, all the things that we need to help us enjoy our crafting. My aim with Sentimentally Yours is to bring unique, top quality, innovative designs for every level of crafter. So whether you are a beginner or whether you are more experienced, there will be something for you. On my Sentimentally Yours shows on Ho-Chanda, I will be doing my best to teach and educate you on how to get the most from the product, but always with a laugh and a giggle. Make sure you join me and tune in for my Sentimentally Yours shows on Ho-Chanda. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. Welcome to Good Morning Achanda. Your daily breakfast fix of your favourite crafts at 7am. Whilst you're getting ready to start the day, join us every morning for the deal of the day. A product available at a special price but only for the 24 hours or while stocks last. Also, part of your morning routine should be the sunrise specials. Your favourite crafting items available at a special low price but only for the hour. Tune in to Good Morning Achanda and start your day with a deal. Yes, indeed. Good evening. I scared myself then with a little bit of choking. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? I'm far too excited. You woke everyone up there. I've had a coffee, that's why. Uh, good evening. I hope you're well. I do look for, I've not done one of these shows since I first started. Really? It's nearly four months since they've let me do another wow. one of these. Apple's here. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good, yes. good, good. Yes. We had a um, good launch show earlier on. an amazing on. launch. I yes. watched launch with our Alex earlier. And what... An, what I like about the Groovy System, if you've never seen the Groovy System before, we will go into details, but for those of you who already know, it's so easy and it takes out the hard work to what you think yeah. would be a hard task to do. Well, it is traditionally what you'd have, we're looking at the four different designs yeah. here, um, and traditionally these would have been a black and white printed pattern, and you'd have to take a white pen or a white pencil, trace it out, then you'd have to go onto a soft mat, and the skill was then with an embossing tool to emboss what you've just traced out uh, without putting too much pressure on, because if you put too much pressure on, you go straight through it. And then you've ruined it. And then you've ruined it, and you've got to start again. So that's how it was done traditionally, and it is a skill. People have been doing it for many, many years, and I tried it myself. Um, and you, I spent an hour tracing it out. It was too impatient and too heavy-handed. It went straight through it, and it's sort of like, 
Oh, I'm not doing that again. And that's what you do when you get. That's what you do when you get home normally, traditionally. Yeah. And then maybe you've done it years ago, and you think, oh, God, I'm not doing that again. No, give me ten minutes. For the sheer fact, now it's it's revolutionised how you go about your work. It's made it simple. Yep. It's made it easy. Yep. And if you can hold a pen, I know I say that a lot, but if you can hold a pen, you can do this craft you as well. You can indeed, because we've got children of five years old that can do parchment craft, which traditionally you wouldn't even you twelve, wouldn't even, thirteen, fourteen sort of thing, because it was a skill. And children, although they pick up skills. That it can take time yeah. and patience and with the groovy system you don't need to have that patience because you get a perfect impression every single time so let's have a look at your one day special in a little bit more detail let me do the boring bits first your details five one nine eight five four is your item number 31 pounds and 96 pence you are getting all four of these beautiful beautiful plates and to make you set on your way, you're also getting the beautiful parchment, the purple, light and gold, for free. Just purple. Just, oh, what, did, did I say gold? White and gold. Purple? <laughs> Where did I get white and gold? You're still on over on the encaustic art, aren't you? Encaustic art. You're still over with Mike and Shona. <laughs> you are getting purple. I don't know where I got white and gold from. Uh, you're getting your purple parchment uh, for free. Just thrown in, just for just for a goodwill gesture, yep. to get you going along the way. That's right. I mean, we do many different colours of the coloured parchment, um, and I thought that with these designs that Lucy in the office has designed, oh, these, it's amazing, absolutely fantastic. And I thought the purple would work really, really yes. well. This sort of folk art type of style that she's come up with. Well then, let's go with your first eye. The only reason I'm holding this is this has more or less all of them on them as well. So the first groovy plate that you are getting is sort of this... Bit. Now this is only a small element That's from your a groovy That's a tiny little bit. So yeah. you see that tiny sentiment, but then the entire plate looks like this. This is beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And when you look at what... This is how it's traced out. So we always suggest that when you get the new plates, you just trace them out onto a piece of parchment because there's so many different layers and elements to them and you can mix and match as well so the one we're looking at here, here is the folk art flowers and you can get them available as pairs but obviously the saving is in the one day in special bundle. because you're getting that purple you're getting parchment. the purple parchment <laughs> i think i was meant to say light and dark but it came out silver and white uh, so that's your first one or gold and white oh god <laughs> It's light. <laughs> uh, then, your second one in your collection of four, once again, these are stunning. This is good. This is the folk art heart. Um, absolutely beautiful. You've got those lovely corners which turn into a frame. You've got the lovely heart there and the flower is absolutely gorgeous. It is just look at that. So maybe you only use the centre part. So you, maybe you just use the heart. Maybe you just use the flower in the centre. Or maybe you just use the borders. It's entirely up to you. But as Paul said, the, de the detail that you can get. And once again, with the groovy plate system, you can be doing this as soon as you get them home on that purple parchment as well. So this one here, this is the folk art octagon. Um, so again, you've got the beautiful layers within there that you can sort of mat a layer. Um, and you've got that lovely different frame around the outside. They are, they are st and then last but no means least... Is the folk art garlands. I have to be Look. careful what I'm saying there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm so glad you're saying these. <laughs> these like nice. I've got a written down behind, I'm cheating. The folk heart heart, and it folk would have got, <laughs> would have got me. But with the garlands that you've got, you can now create your own borders. Yeah, borders, you can create the frames around them, you can just choose the elements, you can extend the flowers. Yeah, so you, can, you could do a full length of this yeah. if you wanted to as nice well. Nice bookmark. Oh yeah, I never even thought of a bookmark, because then you can manipulate the flowers however way you want to make it. This is absolutely gorgeous. And if you hold that one there, I'm going to hold this one next to it, because they've What's both the been same? done by Francis. They're both the same layout, but they're both completely different. Look So the at one that. that you're holding, Adam, has been sort of done more traditionally. It's been traced out and then coloured in. And then the one that I've got here um, has been traced out on the plate, but then it has so many different elements to it. It's got pico cutting in there, it's got white work, it's got the shading. But it's exactly the same layout, 
but just completely it different. Com it, and it does really do yeah. look so different. But then, with the purple that you're getting as well, you can start creating, just take elements mm. from the systems as well. Just this beautiful flower. That's right, so this is by Karen. She's just used the main topper and then done some... Karen and uh, Karen Jackson and Marie, you know the lovely Maria, um, have oh, prepped yeah. the demos for me. Um, and Karen said, um, I'll do this one, you can demo this one. I went, <laughs> no, so I'll do the bit in the middle, Karen, but I'm not <laughs> doing all that ego cut on TV. We'd be here for a fortnight. <laughs> <laughs> and it'd have more holes in it than that's got. But how beautiful <laughs> is that? Once again, using elements of your card from our Jane, this is beautiful Gorgeous. again. So that's using the purple parchment that comes in the one day special, and then it's just backed onto the beautiful black parchment. The detail in there, and once again, it's, it's, if you've never seen the system before, maybe you're brand new to the system. So I, maybe it's me just jumping ahead. But if you are brand new, it's a simple case of tracing. That's all it is. You trace around the circle, you trace around the design, around the plates. There's a small groove, hence the groovy system. You go through the groove, and it does the work it does it for, for you. you. And if you jump out of the groove, it hasn't ruined what you've done. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do it. If you're sitting there tonight and you think, I'd like to have a little go of that. That might be my new craft for this year. Give it a go. And with this deal, you are getting four beautiful groovy plates. Four plates that will last you a lifetime. These are, they're timeless as they well. Are. Yeah, I think they are. And when you look at all the elements on there, you can use them for so many different occasions. You can. All those big birthday celebrations that's got coming up. 519852 is the item you're going to need. £31.96 for four groovy plates. And as a freebie, the beautiful purple paper. Well, it's not even paper. Parchment. Oh, yeah. You get an entire kit for £31.96. You're intrigued? You want to see what you can do when you get all this home? Have a little look at this. So I've worked out my colours, I know where we're going, <laughs> do not worry, it is purple parchment that you're getting, the two P's, uh, the details are on the side of the screen, but let's get right into demonstrations, just so you can see how easy it is to create these masterpieces. Right, okay, so this is one that um, the lovely Karen Jackson has um, prepared for me, and you can see you've got really nice sort of fits, very soft and delicate, and what Karen's done is she's actually used some of the other plates we've got on the show which is um, Linda's um, Fancy Frames collection. Oh, okay. And we've got a special offer on those. So jump ahead on the website because it's six for the price of four. Six, six plates for the price of four. And if you're a Freedom Club member, you'll also get a further discount as well. So, have we got the, so the details are on the screen at the yep. moment. You're getting six A5 groovy plates for the price of four for £28.76 if you're a Freedom member, a delivered price to your door. Yes. So in theory... That's like another little one-day.